Most days I can barely leave my bed Cause someone lives rent free inside my head I say I'm not okay, I'm terrified When I go to sleep, when I close my eyes What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh my God, I can't breathe And I don't know why angels come and they leave Into the midnight sky You only know how much you meant You only know the time we spent Take the pain from my heart And make it hurt again How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful day. Boys, we got ourselves even more BTR tonight and maybe even some more Plunder Storm. I said yesterday that I'm going to play more Plunder, and I think today I, I want to, right? I want to, but uh, BTR is actually a lot of fun. I've, I'm not going to, I'm going to say this. You know how 1026 had zero BTR testing? And you know how everybody was like, oh, you know what? I think that's actually very, very good. You got surprises somewhere in there. I like BTR testing. I actually liked it a lot. 
I actually have a lot of fun with BTR testing. I don't know about you, but I actually enjoy, dude, just getting a chance to try stuff before it comes out. And the fact is, right, I think what makes BTR better over the last few expansions that have done it, they don't put everything on BTR nowadays. Like, there's usually some kind of like a secret or two or like a story thing or whatever that's hidden that we couldn't test. And I'm fine with that, but like actually be able to test out some of these dungeons before they come out has been a banger. We haven't got to test out the Awakened Raids at all though, so I am not sure what they're gonna do with it. I am hoping that they throw in some kind of like a, an interesting loop into the whole Awakened Raid meta, right? Because back in the back in Shadowlands, we had these like affixes things. Basically, you could enable them that would give you like a thing that you didn't interrupt. And if you kicked it, everybody got a damage buff. Or like you activate this orb and you start replicating the more damage you do to it. And the more enemies, the more copies of the orb you killed, the more damage everybody else got. But it tanked everyone's performance inside of raids. I'm hoping they still do some kind of um similar thing. Not exactly an affix system, but like something right something's gotta come out of it i'm hoping they give us something good you know what i mean i'm hoping they have like a surprise behind the curtain they just haven't revealed but yo i want to hop on ptr i got a couple uh classes that i'm interested in testing i got a warlock set up i'm setting up a hunter telly have you tried out the tier set with hunters on the ptr because uh i i i started looking at the season one talents and apparently spearhead with that season one set was played and i kind of want to give it a try again i don't remember exactly how you played spearhead back in the day but i really 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 want to give it a try I hope not, uh i just hope it's something nice and not anything too annoying to deal with yeah affix wise like you know how they like to think of affixes as like a kiss and curse mechanic it's gotta have some kind of like uh i'm i'm skipping the song it's it's too chill it's too relaxing too happy vibes for me right now dude i just i'm i'm feeling like violence <laughs> honestly yeah, I, they usually do like a kiss and curse, right? It's always a hurdle for you to overcome. Let's downgrade that curse mechanic, upgrade that kiss mechanic. You know what I mean? 1.4 million chaos bolts, by the way, completely break in Destra. Like, every global is a 1.4k chaos bolt. Is that what we're talking about? Hold on, now he got me excited. I did get a warlock set up just now on the PTR, so that would be a class I'd be down to test out. I also should probably play a healer at some point, right? <laughs> I feel like I should. I feel like I should at least play a healer. Where's the last log talent, dang it? <laughs> Where's the last log talent? Yeah, I don't know, man. We we do need it, though. They This week, they're not showing anything when it comes to hero specs. I am hoping they'll do, or hero talents, rather. Do you guys call it hero specs or hero talents? I go back and forth between the two. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Do you know Infernal, if you ramp up, have it properly? Okay, so you're, like, having to set it up like that? Okay. That is interesting. I mean, there's a couple of fights where, like, there's two mobs that you're hitting where you could ramp up a fatty, fatty Havoc, right? Also, I got the mount, by the way, from the, um... What's it, Snubble Garden stuff? I got the mount, so I'm done. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do PTR, I need to check out live. Uh, where are my invasions at right now? Because I've been trying to get my elemental primal storms or whatever. I need fire everywhere. I need literally the Fire Nation to attack. That's what I need in my life right now. Hold on. Let's do this first. Let's go check out if the fire storms are up. Because if I'm into them, I'm going to want a hunter. You could just barrage and get everything there. Spearhead will definitely be played in season four. I'm excited for it. It's been a second. It's been a second. What's up, Bragger? Hey, my guy. I hope you have a good one. All right. Uh, yeah, I got the noble garden thing though. Let me show you. Noble. Yeah, there we go. Noble flying carpet. They should have made the mount a duck. But I guess the carpet is pretty cool. And look, it's got a little duckling in the back. Little pink duckling in the back. And I guess like the, the. I mean, the textures are good. Right? Textures are really, really good. Like, it looks good. And apparently this thing is going to have dynamic flight also. However they're going to do it. How is a carpet going to have dragon riding? Nobody knows. Except for Blizz, apparently. I hate Spearhead. Well, you don't have to necessarily play Spearhead, I don't think. I think the tier set from Season 1 does make you want to play it. But I think you'll still play Coordinated Assault Plenty. Especially since the buff the damage of grenades, at least in single target, there is some merit to playing a grenade focus like uh, build. Plus, Cleaves with 
uh, coordinated assault are really, really good still. Like, that's still going to be vi viable and valuable. But yeah, it's. I am happy that Spearhead is actually getting some reasons to be played. You know what I mean? Like, they added the talent. They haven't shaken up the Survival Hunter spec tree at all. Uh, and they needed to for like so long, dude. They just needed to for a while. Uh, let's see. Sound not even enabled. Okay, so we got Storm. I'm fine. Fire. I think I'm actually done with the Azure Span, don't I? I don't think I need Azure Span. Hold on. A world awoken. Yeah, I done a short spin, I done Wicked Shore. I need fires in on our planes or in Thaldrazus. I need either one. Or actually, if there's a fire in a short span and it's in a different spot. Because there's a couple of different storms. Like bottom here is just only for this spot. But if it's in the Cobat assembly, you can actually stand on like a lip where you're technically inside of unarmed planes and killing stuff while standing on the lip gives you credit for unarmed planes and you can do that pretty easily there's like a spot with a bunch of enemies spawn in as long as you get attack on them with a barrage you'll be good by the way first time in like a a ages i've been using barrage it's actually made, made the whole like what is it the uh storms a little bit easier 1.4 million chaos bolt versus 200k malefic raptures make affliction great again please i remove malefic rapture at this point i'm okay with them removing it like, i don't want affliction to be bursty Am I, the, am I weird for saying that? I don't want Affliction to be bursty. I like that there's some burst elements of the spec, but I don't think it should just be like baseline bursty. <laughs> I mean, even like, <laughs> even Demonology is more sustained than Affliction, man. Like, make the dot, juice of those dots. And like, give them like, I don't know, give dot, make dots a huge primary portion of your damage output. And then like, give Corruption and Agony like a five target soft cap or something, right? Beyond five targets that you dot, all the other dots are going to be not as a... Just make make a dot class, like a heavy dot class, a thing again. I feel like it was better as a dot spec. Yeah, it, it it needs to. Like, I know that it's not going to be amazing everywhere, but just, like, give them strong dots. And all about maintenance of those dots, you know? Like, maybe if, like, Malefic Rapture, instead of it being a burst ability, just, like, it's a buff that causes your dots to erupt now they do a little bit more damage or whatever, right? I don't know, some kind of a mechanic with that, just where you're pr promoting sustained gameplay. Hey, that was the best thing for a spec for a beginner. Chris, I uh, think um, for a beginner player, I think one of the easiest ones, I feel like everybody at some point should play Warrior, but I don't know if it's like a fantastic beginner spec that I would recommend. You know what I recommend? I recommend a Prep Paladin. Not the craziest, easiest class ever, but like Protection Paladin is fantastic when it comes to tanking. It has enough of defensives, it has a good array of cooldowns for you to utilize to mitigate damage. You have group support with heals and other things, and you have quite a considerable amount of damage and control. Another class I think is a fantastic for a beginner player too, would probably be a Bear Druid for the sake of like the easiest buttons in terms of combat rotational stuff but also a large array of defenses for you to rotate. Like, if you don't want a lot of buttons, bear. It's a fantastic spec. It doesn't get enough credit, bear druid. If you're fine with having quite a few buttons and you want to do more things than just walk in, draw aggro, huddle and live, prep paladin. Prep paladin is fantastic if you want to get more used to the control and group support and group utility and all that stuff. That's what I would recommend. The other two uh, are do better dot specs, did you think about it? I mean, that's true, it's a Chaos Bolt spec. I'm not gonna, like, say it's a dot spec. As for Demonology, technically you don't put dots on things, but, like, you summon a demon that deals damage over a period of time. So if you think of demons as, like, a dot instead of, like, a, a an NPC that goes in to do damage, yeah, I can kind of see, like, Demonology, like, an argument, like, when you summon a... Uh, 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 imps, right? You drop a hand of Gul'dan and then these imps will do a certain amount of like fireball damage over a period of time, almost playing kind of like a dot as long as they're in range of the target, right? Because you're dealing with the NPCs, you're dealing with pets, there's a little bit of that weirdness that comes around to it. But like, yeah, I could see somebody make an argument like Demonology is technically a dot spec, sort of, not literally, but kind of, you know what I mean? I could kind of sort of see it. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, give me a second. Go. Okay, cool. Now I can actually stream. <laughs> you know, I do this whole YouTube thing and I'm really behind on stuff. That's all I gotta say, right? That's that's all I really gotta say. Yeah, I don't gotta. No, we'll move on. Why did Dal get super quiet and catatonic? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm typing. Um, I want to flex to be a strong dodge of a proking our shadow bolts. I would be fine with that too. Yeah, I, I I'd be fine if like the whole like shadow bolts was just like a proc thing that you got once in a while and the rest of it was just you maintaining a haunt on a target with a ua on a primary putting agonies and corruptions everywhere i think there's like nothing wrong with that simple gameplay of just dot management where you don't really have a big burst phase you don't really have a peak or a valley you just do consistent damage Right, things like Dark Glare I think is perfectly fine to like extend your dots so you have some kind of like a burst window, but I don't think it's super necessary for them to have some kind of a big burst window. I think it's perfectly fine if you just have a spec that could just do consistent damage the entire time. You don't have a downtime ever. And I think that's what Reflection probably should have been. Impending Catastrophe should have been uh, a also a capstone for Affliction. Impending. No, I, I don't think I don't agree. The it was a cool <laughs> coveted ability, but I I like that mass spread of like mass curse capability. I think it's kind of cool. That probably should have just been like a button on its own, right? You just like create like a aura in the spot, kind of like a shot of here, but instead of like stunning enemies, you curse them. That could be a talent on the same row as Shadow Fury. You either have like a Shadow Fury stun or like a Giga Curse thing where you could apply this curse every like three minutes or something to like a bunch of enemies. Oh, I don't know. They can do it like two minutes. Nothing super, super crazy. But like, so you can like mass curse a bunch of enemies once the tank groups them up and make it like the curse is a little bit stronger and discount bosses so it doesn't work on bosses, but you would use it on ads. I think that'd be kind of cool. And you just get like all these curses and maybe like an extra one. Some of about action effects rotation, compared to the Sanguine again. Y yeah, Sanguine, I think Sanguine gotta go. I think we gotta go. Incorporeal and stuff like that. They, I think they, they did nerf one of them. I don't remember which one of the ghosty affixes they nerfed recently, but they did nerf some one of them. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, since I, since the storms are not fiery storms in places what I need, we're just gonna go PTR immediately. Chat, what do you guys wanna see? We got a couple of classes we can take a look at. We got Warrior, I got that set up. We can go back to the good old Fury. Not the auto attack Fury, but big old Rage and Blow Fury. Raging. We got ourselves Survival Hunter set up. Destro Warlock. We could play a healer. We could try tanking. I'm so bad at tanking, bro. I haven't played tank in a good while. But I can play bear. We can go back to bear. The good bear. Oh, if you're in Shadow Priest. Oh, Shadow Priest is another one I gotta play too. Yeah. Shadow Priest is another one I gotta try. I need to look up a talent set up for it. But yeah, Sanguin has to go at this point. Sanguin, I don't know. They, they, yeah, probably. Go Paladin. Are we doing Paladin? No, 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 no. I did say yesterday, like, I'll do, I should probably do Prop Paladin at some point, right? Retribution. Uh, the thing is about Red, it didn't change. <laughs> you just got a different look for your set, but like your tier set is the same. So your gameplay is indifferent. Red didn't change. Neither did Rogue. <laughs> That's a go next. Having Tim and Hunter, same. Didn't change. Go next. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to play a class that has a tier, season one or season two tier set. Holy Paladin, on the other hand, I wouldn't be against. They didn't nerf him, apparently. So the season two tier set isn't as strong. 
after all of the nerves, but I could play holy or try. I don't know how well that would work. I kind of want to play melee holy paladin. I miss it. Jinx, so curse of the elements also affects up to 15, up to 15 nearby enemies within target within 40 yards. Also curse of weakness increases the target's uh, energy, rage, focus, or runic power cost of abilities by 10. Oh, it's a PvP thing, huh? But that'd be kind of wild if that worked in PvE mobs, right? They need energy for abilities, they need 100 energy, but you have increase the cost of, like above that so they can't ever use it. Shaman, that didn't change, but I'd be down to try Shaman. I'd be down to try Shaman. So what are we doing, boys? So much of Vanquisher Hammer? Uh, I've missed so much. What the hell's Vanquisher Hammer? I don't remember. Hmm. I'm actually thinking right now Shaman or Warrior. Just to go melee Zug Zug. Wad Templar's Verdict. Wad Templar's Verdict. Vanquish's Hammer. Necrolord ability. Oh. That's a talent. Oh. You don't have the actual, like, Necrolord Hammer. But, like, it's tied to a judgment and it's part of your talents. So when you go for, like, a Templars, you'll get a Divine so That's already in the game, if that's what you're talking about. But you don't have the actual Hammer, but... It's just tied to a judgment with a cooldown. Warrior melee, you know, elemental, much love elemental. Yeah, okay, we'll do Warrior. We'll do Dal Slammer. Apparently, arms is really good, but I want to test out Fury again. It's been a second. It's been a bit. <laughs> it's been a moment. All right. I, Jake, do you want to join or nah? Because I'm a, what is it? I'm a look up, find a group. I also would like to try single Mighty Fury. I also don't have the Lego and it's not in the vendor. So we're just going to have to play this warrior without a Lego. Unless I try to go single Mighty Fury. I think people are going to look at me like I'm trolling. I promise you, people are gonna look at me and be like, where's your Lego? Uh, it's not an vendor. I, I, I searched for it. They have the uh, Evoker Lego, but they don't have like the Warrior Lego on here. But at least I got this again, a Shkandi. You know, what should I play? Whatever we wanna do. Healer, tank, whatever, man. Whatever we wanna try. I'm gonna play with the Augury and we're playing Natharian's Call of Chaos. Character will do like enchant and everything at the very least. So. There is that. I guess I could go and grab um, a socket, couldn't I? Because that is a season 3 item. But these things are also season 3, I guess. Alright, let's 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 do this. I'll grab a couple more. I'm gonna go strain haste. Don't take crit. I'm gonna go crit mastery, maybe. I don't know what's actually good. One more. Grab this. I don't even know what stats I want as a warrior. I'm just gonna grab. Not that one. Grab whatever I can. And kind of hope for the best. I have no idea. We're getting to the point where we have so much of each stat. We are hitting DR, so like other sides become a little bit better. So I have like a split between like crit and haste, which probably is way too much haste. Ask Andy doesn't sound healthy. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? How you doing, by the way? I thought. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have the Lego in here. Shadow Priest the PI bot? Go for it, go for it. Give me that PI. Give me that PI, baby. Because we're going to be playing um, this build. This is the build we're running. This is a season 2 build since we got the season 2 tier set. We get to pick out Berserker Storm, so whenever we um, uh, wreck this, we get Avatar for free. We got ourselves Thunderous Roar as well. We'll be using that pretty regularly, or hopefully pretty regularly. Uh, as a bleed with a minute cooldown. I think we just use it on cooldown whenever it's up. We got Ravager, which we want to use up as soon as we can. Uh, we got ourselves Onslaught, which should be a higher prior ability for us. Now the question is, I'm pretty sure Onslaught is like one of your hardest hitting abilities here, like higher prio, if you're looking to build rage, right? Pretty sure. Oh yeah, I also gotta do this too. Where is the, a, uh, yeah, <laughs> take a slam off of this thing, <laughs> we don't need slam anymore. <laughs> so the tier set is also going to be Rampage increases your, or Rampage damage and critical strike chance increase by 12%, so I guess you don't want to go crit heavy. But also Rampage causes your next bloodthirst to have a 12% increased crit chance 
uh, deals 30 percent increased damage it generates two additional rage stack it up to 10 times so you basically can get 100 percent crit chance for your bloodthirst eventually uh and quite a bit of damage so you don't really want to press bloodthirst immediately you kind of want to press every other button um and bloodthirst only when there's nothing really available once it's fully stacked up ideally but yeah it, it, that's just how it is uh let me see if i can get you uh keys let me see if jay wants to do keys because maybe we could get some together summon something if he's looking for a key uh not as many groups we got a double dps one hmm prob not okay there's not that many groups man i'm actually kind of surprised uh should we just make our own i guess or just join this algathar 7 i think let's do an algathar 7 just as a warm-up we'll do it like this we'll do a quick warm-up key it'll be fine and hopefully there'll be more keys afterwards worst to worst if we're just not getting your bites then i'll do maybe some life stuff and then uh plunder storm because we do have trios that i never get to play apparently trios are wild dude people are getting nuked in there people are dropping in getting all the powers and they're just going and nuking everybody it's insane i know but i want the actual ability you want the ability i don't know like i guess it's cool maybe like if they add a glyph right That actually would be kind of cool if they added a glove where your judgments could be like that necker lordy judgment. Just replace it. But the ability itself, like, it's kind of a hit or miss. I'd say. Hit or miss. Is it going to take us? Well, hopefully he does at some point. That or we'll just try to make our own key. Trio win with my guild team. I haven't got to do trees at all. I still do want to do them. Uh, we're probably going to be taking our uh rating break thursday i think or maybe is that next week i'm not even sure but at some point we're gonna be taking a break at somewhere so i want to kind of mess with that hook is the fun teammates uh playing hook is fun with your teammates oh yeah imagine if somebody hooks in and somebody follows up with like a stun and then you just like bomb them immediately oh that'd be so good yeah if you can coordinate something you can make things happen brackenhide i would have loved to join brackenhide Pretty note. Uh, I just want to sign up. I know we double DPS, but like I really want to do Bracken Hide. No Tharos? No Tharos probably is doable, right? Maybe. Oh, these guys dipped completely. Rip. Do, 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 do. What's the command to stop all your errors and you know? Uh, wow, well, L U A errors command. This guy's gotta look at my character and see no Lego. I feel like he's gonna dip out immediately. Let me see if I can find it really quickly for you. Uh, here we go. If we type this in, I post it in chat. Uh, I you got to do a slash console script errors, and it's one or zero, one of those two. I think it is zero. Yo, AJ, seventy months. Oh my god, my man! Thank you so much, my guy. Yo, bud, how you doing, AJ? my man 70 that is a lot that is a lot thank you so much my man for being a uh, beautiful butterfly absolute generous giga chat and chat my goodness my man's been around for a while huh damn <laughs> damn it you both be doing getting old man what the hell okay we just need a tank so let's see people are signing up maybe there's a lack of tanks but uh yeah i'm just gonna do this chat i need a bit of practice uh, so anybody know how to play this at all? Because we are going into a 12. So I'm probably going to walk in, instant die, the killer's going to leave, and it's going to be like back to the search with us. Back in that LG. So rotationally, we do have Avatar. Is it Berserker? Berserker. Onslaught. Ravager. Anger Management. Tier 30 tier sub bonus? Which one is that? No. 
Oh, you do actually. Okay. Thunderous. Okay. So with this, I want to make sure I press Avatar on cooldown, Recklessness on cooldown, Ravager aligned with Recklessness though, Thunderous while enraged, Rampage whenever I'm capped, Bloodthirst whenever I have over 95% crit chance, and to apply Cold Steel Hot Blood, we don't have that. Um, otherwise, it's Onslaught first things first, Execute whenever it's available, Rage and Blow is your main rotational ability, Bloodthirst is a filler, Whirlwind is a filler. And then AOE, you just kind of want to press the button and then use your abilities. Although, Tenderize gives me two stacks of, um, three stacks of Slaughtering Strikes. And also grants me... We're just maintaining Enrage through the use of Fresh Mage, Tenderize, Satanic, Rage, Rampage. Okay, never mind then. It doesn't do anything. But, uh, okay. I think I figured it out, more or less. Just double check, I'm gonna go ahead and change dummy. Big two wide down, not get a 90% of the screen covered. All good, all good, all good. No worries, man. No worries. Alrighty, so we were charging Avatar. Oh, I hit press the wrong button. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. You can just kinda rampage a bunch. That is super nice. Oh, the amount of rage you generate is nutty. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. That button does numbers. Okay, we have recklessness almost back up and available. And then I immediately use this button with recklessness. That's a lot of rage. Why oh, my damage looks a little kind of weird? Oh, is that because another guy's already hitting stuff? Is that you hitting stuff? That's why. That's why. Wait, why my damage so low? <laughs> I feel like it should be a lot higher. Is that because I'm not I'm only hitting one guy? Oh, we got a tank. Good. We got a tank. We're good. Bracket hide is the way we go, boys. Bracket hide is the way. Just find the most cracked trinket. Did you really? All right, we'll see. The sickness? Really? Why is that doing so much damage? Huh. Okay. Sickness. Down with the sickness, apparently, huh? Hey, I did this on level 25, 26, what, 27? Really? Okay, okay, okay. Rack and hide. Okay. I don't have a Lego, so this is going to be very, very interesting. Sick damage? Yeah, that is a lot of damage, though. Sick damage? Okay. It took me a second there. All right, Atho. I'm a man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't have tier or new trinkets. This guy? Yanni? Or who? Oh, he's talking about this guy. Wait, he kicked that guy out for not having tier or the new trinkets. Huh? <laughs> he just kicked the paladin out for not having the new gear. Hard pass on that, LMAO. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hope he doesn't open up and look at my character here. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this, chat. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where are you? Where are you? How would he know? How would he know? How would he know? How would he know, chat? How would he know that I don't got fear last? How would he know? Is it Notharis? I didn't realize it's Notharis. Uh, uh, is it Notharis really? Oh, it is Notharis. Weird. Oh, that's that's also uh, weird because I don't remember how to do the chains of Notharis. I feel like this is gonna fall apart quick, but we'll give it the best shot we got. <laughs> Let me go hit some train dummies for a bit more then. Let's get more comfy with this. What is this damage? Why are you hitting as hard as you are? Is this normal? Is this just Shatterpiece things? 
What is happening, man? I know that that was like the best hero set from season two. Why is this trinket doing as much damage as it is? Harmful spells and abilities have a, okay. Harmful spells and abilities have a low chance to call upon a tragic arcane power to infect your target with crystal sickness, dealing arcane damage over 10 seconds, increasing every second. Creatures other than the player and the boss would drop below 5% health while after the crystallized die, infecting, oh, it's cause everything is low. That's, it's infecting. That's why. Okay, so it's, it's doing some cheesy numbers. That's some cheesy numbers because they're constantly getting infecting one another and ramping up and... Okay, that, that explains it. That explains it. Okay. Is it ultra hard on PTR petty? I mean, some people are going to be able to try hard on PTR, like, to be honest. Is it necessary? I don't think so. To each is their own, though. He is trying to do a 12, I guess. You know, he just doesn't want to troll his own key. So that is his whole purpose there. He just to get a key done and test things or whatever. He probably didn't want to grab like a random tank. That wasn't really like prepped and ready or whatever. I imagine. Also, why the hell is this so long-lasting? Why is Reckless as lasting as long as it is? Is this normal? Feels like Adrenal Rush. It's up all the time, or at least it feels like it. I'm pressing Whirlwind Witch early. I think it's because every time I press um rampage, right? I forgot that was a thing. I need to remember which button is the one that makes my rampage extend though. Holy, the uptime. Look at that uptime. 84% uptime. What is the button that's giving me such a long uptime? Uh, Rampage on side have a 20% chance of greater like access. Oh, that's the button. Okay, that would do it. Yeah. So that's what's prolonging it. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of wild. Hopefully we'll get a tank. Hopefully. What other... I wish I could search for other groups while we're in this one, man. You know what I mean? I'm just like... I just want to see what's out there, man, because maybe there's like a plus 10, but super, super chill or whatever. Because we're just going to be waiting here forever and ever and ever. Is that what we're lacking? Is like a big lack on tanks? Because <laughs> I don't... Do I just tank it? Do I just go make our own key and I tank it, chat? Up at like some, I don't know, bear? What is it? What's another spec that got like a really, really good tier set this season? I don't think it was Prot Warrior, was it? Protection. Spending Rage has a chance to cause your shield same to bleed. So here's the current tier set, which is good, but I don't know. I kind of miss the Season 1 tier set. It was just like, I kind of just miss Season 1 Prot Warrior in general. It was busted. It was really, really good. I would take it, but I never did hide Naltharis. Me neither. I would probably do like a Bracken Hide. Naltharis, I know like you want to do like the whole Chains thing and really min-max it. But that is a dungeon that I do want to see at some point, though. Definitely a dungeon I do want to see this week, if possible. Brackenhide I want to see. I want to see Olderman. I like to heal Olderman because apparently first boss is a nightmare now. I don't want to see how bad it really is. Can Ditch go Bracken or Azure? They got a lot of changes. Yeah, I'll be okay with if, if we were to ditch it. Yeah, I won't be completely against it. Inside now. Yeah, we maybe maybe we'll dip. Maybe we'll dip. This is taking forever. Because this guy's looking for a tank, but it's kind of whatever. You know? Azure, I don't want to try. Because apparently that final boss is apparently a lot easier. Because the crystals that spawns around him, uh, they are... What's the word? They spawn really, really close to the boss, so they don't no longer feel like super out of the way. Apparently that's really, really nice too. But yeah. I guess worst of worst, we could make a hero of our own. If I do play tank, do I just play like what, Prot Warrior? 
or Prada Pally, maybe. I'll probably give Bear another go, man. I kind of miss like goring and mauling people because <laughs> I used to give you like a fatty, what is it, shield, but also the Tiosa gave you a, what is it, stamina, I think it was. That's a good change. I'm confused how Prada Warrior Season 1 didn't win. It, it, the season three one is a better tier set. It does do more damage than season ones. It is a little bit more interesting. It does give better cooldown reduction. It gives you that very shadeful rotation where you're generating a ton of rage. So I can see why that one won. I season one tier set isn't what made Prop Warrior like a powerhouse back then. It was just how strong warriors were. And then they got nerfs after nerfs after nerfs after nerfs after nerfs. And they still kept being really strong. And then Protection Paladin started coming up afterwards. And then people really quickly realized, wait, Protection Paladin is actually better than Warrior for the utility. And then Paladin uh, Warrior couldn't really hang for Season 2 as much. And it's kind of okay in Season 3, but not like... There might be some good spots because you can spell reflect some of the bosses, but it's not a crazy like... You're not gonna... I don't think it's going to be a top tier. I think it's going to be Avengers Demon Hunter and Prop Warrior again, just mostly because of their ability to car control the world. There's a lot of casters in all the older Dragonflight dungeons, and quite a lot of the dungeons, there's quite a bit of casters. So, Brat Paladin is going to be able to shield toss him to silence him, but also you got plenty of AoE CC and great defensives too. Um, for Avengers Demon Hunter, you got fantastic CC, great damage from big pulls, and I think that's where they're going to like live in. But Warrior can do well. It did do well in Season 1. But it mostly is because it just did so much more damage and just never died. And I don't really know if it's in that same position anymore. Or at least I wouldn't classify it in the very, like, the same position anymore. I guess is the best way to put it. But if you ignore pains... I do remember the free ignore pains, yeah. Those, those were really, really good. But I don't know, man. It just... They kept nerfing it over and over and over. Most old Paladin buffs. You mean, like, all of, like, the other, like... Kings might you can still play with those in SOD, but I I think managing buffs like that and having to like reapply them over and over and over and over. I I feel like I would find that annoying after a while. So I I don't I don't necessarily miss them. Hell, even just having to reapply thorns on everybody and uh, heart of the wild on everybody is a druid. I I find like a little much, but having to apply like a different buff for everybody. I guess it depends what version you're talking about. Like if that buff lasts for an hour, it's fine. If it's like the 10 second duration, how it is in SOD. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna dip on this guy. Yeah, we're gonna dip out and we're gonna try to see if we can find a group ourselves. Oh! Oh! Hold on! Uh, there's a uh, Azure Vault. I can say, hey, I got a friend coming. I can tell him, hey, I got a homie, Ink. Or I can invite you. There's a Ruby Light Pulse, too. Hold on. All these groups are all of a sudden. Is, was everybody just in the key when we were looking for a key and they all just got out? Bloodlust or Og? Oh no. Og again? Is that what's happening? Hold on, I'm trying to see if I can just join that quick one. Because that's an Azure Vault. Hold on, is that, a, is that a thing we could do? Try to see if I can join this guy. Bring just blessing your kings back, everybody loves stats. Yeah, if they gave it like one hour buff, yeah, I would be fine if it's a one hour buff. Because it's like you just micromanage buffs and then you don't have to think about it. That guy left too, it's just Misku, the guy that's AFK. Oh no, he left him, dude. He bailed on that guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I don't know if this guy will uh, let us join him, but worse or worse, I'll just go and... What is it? Set up a cure on my own. But it's like a fortified or something, right? Keystone, I want to do Ulderman, I want to do, at some point Ulderman, I want to do Bracket High at some point, I do want to do Azure Vault, I haven't done Ruby either, so we'll do this too, I'll set up Azure Vault for now, uh, we'll set it to level 10s man, I don't really know, and then Fortified, do 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 do, where's Fort, do 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 do, here we go, is there any more keys? No, there is a ruby. I don't want to go with that, uh, Jake, though. This guy, what he needs to do is this guy needs to just grab me, grab Jake, and we'll have, like, a combo. Right then and there. Invite, okay. I'll try to see if I can, uh, what is it? 
invite you and try to see if you can join as a group. Try to see if you can join as a group. Maybe this will work. Well, let's see. Maybe because you're a tank, he'll take you. Or not, and then I'll just make my own. And that'll work out just fine. Double tank? A double warrior? Oh, that'll be interesting. Bring this blessing again. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like the different type of blessings, though, as a paladin. I do think there would need to be a different kind of blessings, like not just like might, kings, wisdom. Like kings and wisdom is fine. I feel like blessing your know, might and kings just gotta do the same thing for one another. You know what I mean? Just a little much. But who knows, right? Who knows? This guy just doesn't want to take us, man. Crazy. Oh, he did grab a DPS, so he doesn't want us by the looks of it. Okay, we'll just have to list our own key then. <laughs> I'll do this. Uh, Azure Vault 10, Mythic Plus. Here I go. We'll try to see if we can snag a healer, snag a DPS. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how this is gonna go. <laughs> this will be fun. Healer, PPO. Alright, so we got a healer, we just need to DPS. That's literally all we need right now. Rogue? I'll take a rogue. What do we what else do we need? We probably need a we gotta be a res. Oh lust, here we go. Ask and you shall receive. His dev, so I'm okay with him being uh, running as dev, honestly. And actually, you know what? The only one that should be worried about his health is him. Because this guy's gonna die. <laughs> Insta. <laughs> Insta. He's gonna pop cooldowns, get all the aggro. Is the axe? I can't, man. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just look like I got it, but it's not like I actually have it. You know what I mean? What rogue spec are we looking at here? Outlaw? Assass? Subtlety? With Mana Grief Torch and Storm Eater's Boon. Okay. What is this versatility thing? Why versatility gems? Like hard versatility. He does realize he doesn't get as many stats going straight up all Versa, right? Or is he like super, super giga hard trying to get as much Versa as he can? There's no shot he's capped on all the stats, right? At least I choose not to believe it. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what the hell? <laughs> At least he's trying to go super heavy Versa. Just to, like, take less damage, maybe? That is weird. Alright, whenever you guys are ready. Hold on, I want to see what this guy got his setup for. I feel like he's just gonna pop cooldowns and die, man. Oh yeah, Mastery Haste. What? Mastery Haste? On Dev? Carnalex? Watch Carnalex actually be good. I mean, it's a good weapon. Right, it's a decent weapon. It's a solid weapon. That being said, it is um I don't know if it'll be better than a Lego. You know? Wait. Uh I gotta run outside of the mythic. Might be. Might be, might be, might be. Uh Mythic. As a warning, haven't played warrior. Go for it. Honestly, you'll be fine. Uh I think it'll be fine. Honestly, as long as you're going in and as long as you're pressing your buttons and you press the buttons hard, you'll be fine. That's all you gotta do as a warrior. The harder you press your buttons, the harder and you miss take damage. It's it's a guaranteed foolproof way of just succeeding on a warrior. You'll be just fine. Promise ya. Are you gonna play SOD? I do plan on playing it tomorrow. Tomorrow it's re it's releasing at like 4 p.m., right? So an hour before I normally go live. So I do plan to hopefully, um, what is it? Start back up. Started, uh, started the stream up an hour earlier and hopefully get or maybe even before that and then get into hopefully a quick gnomer with the guild uh, and then I'm thinking one zil for rack a bunch maybe he'll already DPS it I do plan on it but yeah down down 10 whatever you're ready Здорово, старый, как жизнь, старый, что это? Здорово, здорово, Тимур, как дела, друг? Calling me old, man. Timur over here calling me old. What the hell? I'm like old. You ready? Orphan? Jake? There we go. 
You'll be fine, man. Just don't think about it. Just go in, slam. Make sure you press the defensive if you're like before charging into combat, right? Charge wall and then you'll be fine. And then focus on damage. Rotate, use those defensive buttons. They are good. They are big good. Also, run this however you remember it. Like, I don't care if you want to pull it slow or whatever. This is going to be a little bit of a relearning experience for all of us, I think. Okay, do we fear these things? Are they going to cast? Kick? Fear? Hopefully I have it. I got no AoE stuns. I wish I had an AoE stun. The Evoker's doing his things. Mystic Vapors? Yeah, those gotta hurt. Oh, yeah, Mystic Vapors hurt a ton. Yeah, we need an AoE stun or something. I use my AoE fear, so I have no options. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, no. Bro, get in here. I don't wanna trip the alarms here. Oh, man. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, fun. <laughs> oh, Wild Eruption? Okay, so that's him. Am I getting meleeed? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> it looked like it was. <laughs> I was so bad. Hold on. I'm just dying to literally ground. I'm dying to air, which is not good. <laughs> uh, should we just do left? I think we should just left. Or... Welp? Or no? Wait. Here we go. Yeah, having to keep a whirlwind on things every few globals is... It's been a second since I played Fury. Oh, I messed that up. We can stun that guy if we need to. Yeah, these things are gonna suck unless you have AoE stuns or something. AoE stops of any kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What changed with this guy, if anything? Or did they not change him? Are these guys always interruptible? Yeah, that ground floor sucks. It does all instantly damage. Someone higher than it? Oh, so, so. Uh, old is not old in the sense it's one of those addresses formal. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see now. I see, I see, I see. Okay, had no clue. Are they stunnable? They're not stunnable. For some reason I thought they were. Yeah, Rusk is a boy, she chewed drug is me. Yeah, I, I forgot about the whole like old and Russian. I I took it more literally than colloquially or whatever. Wait, can I spare off like the channel if I like time it? Or guess I guess, because you can't really time it. Kind of just like randomly would turn you and start blasting you. Yo, this evoker's popping off. The numbers. Ow. The ground hurts. Dude! Okay, the ground is a little too much. That's a little much. That's a little much. You barely step into it and you just chunked i hate that i hate that that is cursed i know it's a 10 but like man that is punishing <laughs> just step in the ground for half a second i dare you <laughs> a cursed i hate that especially as a melee class because normally i play out the rogue and all the rogues have a i guess all rogues really have like a 10 yard range a three yard extra range of the melee attacks i shouldn't have pop cooldowns there that was a little much the rogue isn't doing a lot though, but this guy's popping off. I wonder if it's just like him doing something. Oh yeah, this guy, you have to like get the dot and you have to spread. Forgot about that. I guess I'm gonna go far or I'll stay close maybe? If the druid goes far, then we'll be chilling.
Oh yeah, frontal. I forgot about that. Okay, so we're trying to see if we can stand here. Okay, we're gonna die. The ground... What is it? You have to really be careful about the ground under the boss. That is painful. Why did they make, like, the ground so, like... I don't think the trees even had that kind of purple ground under them before, did they? Maybe it's like the main tank mechanic of like, hey, you really gotta aim and clear as many of those as you can with a tank slam to make it easy on everybody else. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna go here or no? Okay. Is that all of them? Most of them, if not all of them. We're gonna rally this. We gotta hope for the best. Big heal. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I am playing Cold Steel. Okay, so maybe I do want to play Cold Steel once in a while. You have two Legos? No, I don't. Nah. It's just a mog. It's just a mog. I don't even have a lot of this guy. Imagine though. You can mog the Lego. Ashkandi doesn't do nearly as much damage as the Lego does though. That's unfortunate. I kind of want to like uh, close the game open and back up real quick because uh, none of this is recording right now. I kind of want to get some B-roll. I might do that here in a bit. Uh, but yeah. SOD, I do plan on playing it. I think I'll play it tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the guild will be around in order to get a... This is... Was this always this toxic? Feels it. Definitely feels it. Yeah, my neighbor just asked him to the evoker. This guy's popping off. Jesus, how is he doing like 400k? Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> what is happening? This guy's popping off. That is so nutty. Okay. Okay, well, this is what I'll do. Yeah, the AOE thing he does. Forgot about that. Probably wasn't focusing on this guy. Cleaving off of him. I wish I had a weak card to track my stuff a little better. Uh oh, man down. Okay, well, at least the cast is seeable, sort of. I'm trying to see if I can reflect the thing on him. Okay, that took us a second. Let me do this real quick. Let me close the game just to open it back up and hopefully be able to record the run. Because I do want to get Shadowplay to like properly function. Just to get some B-roll. So hopefully they'll go a little slow on the next uh Okay, it looks like it's recording. Beautiful. Beautiful. For hack and SOD. Imagine they are doing some 
No, they are not for Rag, but at least like the whole War Within and Zalatath. Looks like Zalatath is somewhere out there in SOD. I'm pretty sure at least. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a little scary. Here's some shards. I, is that really the pull you want to do there? It feels scary. May not be scary. Feels scary. The Evoker is pulling numbers though. There's a defensive here. Uh, okay, so that does a lot of damage. Oh, you take his dead too. Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't know if it was worth pulling that guy. Come on, could we at least like, put us down the stairs? At least. Oh, wait, there is at least an arcane strike buff. I forgot about that. Huh. Look at his damage though, man. Just pyre. Just a pyre machine. Pyre, 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 pyre. What about the healer? I mean, it looks like he's healing. Is it wild gro regrowth healing? What is happening? <laughs> Wait, at least he's. That is nourish of like the pets, right? Oh, at least he's playing tree ants. Wow, what is he doing? Yeah, I don't know what he is. What the healer is doing? It looks like we're fine. I don't know if he just pulled that though. I mean, maybe you do, but it doesn't feel like it. How slow is this? Oh, wait, that is actually quite a bit of a slow. Uh oh. Oh, these guys. I forgot what they do. Oh, you don't have a frontal? Why do I feel so fragile playing a warrior? Big stun. Can I fear them? Yeah, at least I can, I sort of can. Dude, this evoker is popping off, man. This guy numerically is doing work. Are we going across? Wait, no, I don't think we're supposed to go across. Yeah, we're supposed to go down. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I was going to say for a second, we do that a little later. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, why can't I get this Lego? Have you tried for it this week? Did you get lucky or no? Have you not tried for it yet? We can go left or right, by the way. Either way works. We can go left. There's a gonna be path. What is it? Pathing around. Although I believe they're not that scary. At least I'm pretty sure. Don't these guys have like a tank frontal? Oh yeah, he's gonna get an aggro. <laughs> <laughs> Evoker presses a button, gets all the aggro in the world. I swear they gave him like a, a buff where Evoker just get more aggro. Wait, no, 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 don't stand on the ledge. I'm pretty sure they have a knockback for tanks. I'm pretty sure they'll actually knock you off. <laughs> Be careful with that one. Eh? <laughs> Play with fire. Yeah, look at that shield slam thing they got going on. Yeah, at least have kind of like a uh, tank frontal. Okay, this guy's at least stunnable. I gotta remember that. Nobody's inviting me. I mean, you could also do a fire. You know that, right? Or normal. What do you? What, do you try, what difficulty are you trying to do? Are you, are you not even getting invited to a fire either? Because you could just queue from a fire. With a random group. Like, you're talking about getting invited to, like, to do the raid, or you mean, like, getting invited to groups in general?
Try to see if we can feel that man. I forgot how much of a carpal tunnel <laughs> the spec the Fury War was. Especially this build specifically. Because like what you play currently now is like a little bit more chill, a little bit more relaxed. This version is definitely super spammy. It's nice to play Rage and Blow again, but man. Yeah, my damage is definitely not even like meeting this the evoker. I'm not even sure what's happening. <laughs> I'm probably doing something wrong. But then again, this guy's also doing something funky as well. So maybe there's like some weird gear scaling or whatever going on. That or that guy just pumping huge numbers. Just an absolute giga chat of an evoker. The chattest evoker I've ever seen. That or they kind of, maybe they broke the tier set a bit. Who <laughs> knows, right? Oh! Oh, Ice Cutter hurts. Oh, that hits hard. Oh yeah, Ice Cutter does a lot of damage there. Oh lordy. Lordy. This is why I'm like, dude, they really gotta rework the checkpoints of this place. Like, at least they give you, like, a movement speed buff, but it'd be nice to, like, if once you clear this whole circle here, like, you're spawning at least in the circle. You know, for 8 Adam almost still doesn't get invited. What do you mean? How do you- how? How? Do you sign up for- maybe, like, you gotta sign up for more groups, because I imagine at least one of them is gonna invite you at some point, right? Heroic, of course. I mean, at the very- look, if you're having a hard time getting it done on Heroic, at least sign up for normal. It's better than no- um, you know, it's better than no, no, what am I trying to say? Better than no run. <laughs> Promise you, it'll make it a little bit easier. My frog. Frogs it from your body incapacitated enemies. Wait, that's such a good uh, buff. I would like that in cap effect. That'd be massive. It's a new screenshot. Go for it. The show scaling, Umbral Mongolia's country storm. I don't know. Is that what he's using, or is that you what you're using, or this guy? Who's using Umbral Mongolia's? The hell is a Umbral Mongolia? Oh God! Oh, oh! <laughs> That was quick. Yeah, no matter scaling <laughs> is gonna help you there. Yeah, I I wouldn't put I wouldn't use the moon glaives. I would use something better. I wouldn't do some scaling weirdness or whatever you got going on. Humble moon glaives. What is that trinket versatility? It seems like that's a very low versa. Country storm or glazed your location. Wait, isn't that legion trinket? Or am I wrong about that? What happened there? That guy left. Oh, healer left. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> tidy, so I think how you die. Okay, we're gonna have to do another group then. All righty. <laughs> That's not gonna work then. <laughs> Okay, we'll just find another group then. We'll go with another key. Azure Vault, obviously a little difficult still. What was those hits though? Hold on, I gotta see exactly what killed ya. At the very end there, specifically, right? Walk up and just ice cutter. For like a million. What? Condensed Ruin? I don't know. Ice cutter did a, literally a million hit. Yeah. That's kind of rough. I'm going to switch over to another class. I don't know if you want to switch over to something, whatever. I'm going to try... Chat, what do you guys think? Survival Hunter or Warlock? What are you guys feeling like? Hunter or Warlock? I want to give one or the other a go. Let's do like a Bracken Hide. Think you're doing something wrong? I I mean... I... Taken to one million hits back to back. Okay, so when a class is taking a mill hit back to back like that, that makes you think of like, okay, so 
put myself, put yourself in his shoes, right? You're just an evoker, you're Simon Tarikim, tank walks in, charges in, insta dies. You're like, uh, that's not supposed to happen. Like, the healer, the what would a healer be able to do there in that situation, right? When a tank takes that much damage, though, either they're like fighting a boss that's enraged, or the tank didn't use like a mitigation ability. Because normally tanks don't take this much damage almost ever. Unless it's like a Farak or unless it's a boss that does hit you this hard with every auto. Like the Nathrius was very, very like renowned for every single one of his autos. It's just like a third of your health or half your health in every single auto. And unless like you use cooldowns and everything else to live, it just chops you up. Uh, Natharian is also another boss that really chops you up pretty hard too. And some bosses do that, but not all of them. I think Farag doesn't hit that hard now, does he? Hunter? Warlock? Oh, you guys are so split. Uh, let's do Hunter, because I didn't want to me uh, mess around with the Hunter. Yeah, so when you so when you see a tank taking like two a million a hit like this, the first thing that would jump in my mind is like... Oh. Uh, did the tank now press a button? Like a mitigation button? Because normally tanks never take that much damage. DPS is going to hit the hard. It happens. <laughs> Tanks seems like a really hard hit. Me also switch up my trinkets too. I don't even know what trinkets I'd want. Yeah, I have no idea what what happened there either. Honestly, I we, I just have no clue. I'm pretty sure Bandelier is really good here, isn't it? Yeah, like it happens. You know what I mean? GG, we go next. That one does seem like a pretty tough of a key, and that's fortify too. And everything hit really hard. One of my main tank that was a boss called Kill Jaden Heroic. It was an absolute tank buster. Kill Jaden Heroic. Wait. Are you talking about uh, Legion? Or is that supposed to be a joke somewhere in between the Rathom? Do you know when the War Within come out on PTR? War Within is not going to be on... Maybe like pre-patch for War Within might be on PTR. But War Within is not going to be on public testing realms. If anything, it's going to be in an invite-only beta realms or alpha realms at some point. As for like when it's going to come out, no idea. Could be like sometime this month, I imagine. Because based on like the 2024 roadmap... To Mr. Garrus Raid. Really? Kill Jaden was hitting that hard on Heroic? Because I, I I didn't really... I played in Legion. I played a ton of Legion. But I didn't really raid after like the first raid. I never really got a good raiding guild up until the end of Legion. That was like progging and didn't even get into Mythic Lust Keys up until towards the end of it. Which I wish I raided. But apparently to Mr. Garrus was pretty tough in general. Yeah, I I wouldn't... I didn't put Kill Jaden as my like example of bosses that just chunk tanks. Just because I didn't raid then. But Denathrius is one. If you... Raid in Shadowlands, and I imagine a lot of people probably did the first raid in Shadowlands. No other raid, but the first one for sure. Because uh, it was a pretty big spike of players playing back then. But yeah, that guy, yeah. Prog, Mythic, AJ, it was a uh, bloody, but DK just GG go next, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta go GG and go next. What can you do, right? I don't know, I don't really know what happened. To be honest, I have no idea what, what, what we died to. But, you know. Rip. There it is. Uh, let me also get Hunter's Mark. <laughs> I'm going to put this uh, here because you don't really put poisons on anything. Not normally. Uh, what else am I missing? Am I, do I have good bombs or do I have crab bombs? Because I should have the wildfire, right? Okay, I do have wildfire. Yeah. These critters got to test off of them. What else? What else am I trying to do? I'm trying to get a pet heal. I kind of miss when pet mend and revive pet were like same button. They're not really anymore, but they used to be a same button. All right, what other key do we want to try? What key are we feeling, Jake? Are we feeling Brackenhide? Are we feeling a Ruby? Because I've done, we've done a lot of Algathars. Notharis. I don't remember how to do the chains on Notharis. Try Guardian. Okay. I'm thinking we do Ulderman maybe? Ulderman is still kind of fresh in my mind, so let's do Ulderman. Uh, not Entangling. No, I saw that real quick. <laughs> and 10. We'll do Ulderman. Ulderman. Fortified. Okay, I gotta do key level affixes out, in that order. While I'm at it, let's grab uh, Enchants. I need a chest enchant. I need ring enchants probably too, right? I could probably use a little. I got a lot of crit. I could use a little more haste though. Oh. 
I was gonna say it's a lot of master, but not really. Um, crit, haste, two of those. Chest, stats, cloak, avoidance. You, you, by God, you know I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need all their avoidance. Ultimate, oh, yeah, we'll list it. Ultimate, oh, a legacy of tier. And hopefully we'll get a couple of bites here and there. Devotion of haste. I also need to find a way to tie in the Jardin pillar with my uh, spearhead. Combine all these buttons together. Chest and cloak. This character is all kinds of weird. I don't have like gear that scales super well or anything. But we'll see how it goes. I'll take a DH. Just for the variety. So let me know whenever you want to join uh, uh, Jake. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to make a macro. Um, you know, I don't need this button. So we'll do cast spearhead, right? Spearhead. Use 13. Uh, and we'll use Jaridan. I'll do it. Uh, do we need Beerus? Not necessarily. We need a Lust, but like, I could take a Warrior. Or should I take a Paladin? I kind of want to see how Paladins are. By the way, do not press anything that is Among Us Bite or... Okay, cool. I'll just press those two. Uh, let's take a Pally, just because second Beerus is nice. And I'm Lust, actually, so we just need a healer. Never mind. I forgot about that. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no. Oh man, I'm so bad at the whole switching uh pally. Okay, well, that'll work. So we got troop of pally, we got me as a luster. It'll go fine. It'll be okay. Where's the dungeon? Older. Older. He's asking me now which section, which dungeon, Ulda, which section, uh, Mythic? I don't know what he means, I might have swapped, <laughs> I might have swapped out the age, I think he's a little confused. So we'll try to do this, uh, we got ourselves loads of damage that we can do. With uh, a tier set, which is Mugga's Bite, Carven, but sure, we just do 18% more damage. That's a number. That's a big number. Mugga's Bite, Carven, but sure, we have a 20% chance to make an next Mugga's Bite, Carven, but sure, we cost 10 less focus and dealing 50% increased damage. How are you here? Huh? What? It's already a mythic, like we're chilling. Is he telling me like run out? Because we're already a mythic, we're vibing. Ah, so our hunt is gonna be good this season? I have no idea. I'm hoping so. I'm definitely hoping for it. Um Cause we're all here, we're just waiting on this guy. Uh, is he just <laughs> tell me to go help him? Okay, okay, I'm gonna run in there. Also, the game bugged and I can't disengage now. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, I can't even jump. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, we'll get him a summon. Them. <laughs> Dude, the demon hunter is so lost. I'm starting to reconsider. Maybe we should get somebody else. Or maybe he's like a pumper. He just is like directionally challenged, right? He hasn't. He can't tell he's left or right from another, but he can just pump the biggest numbers ever. We gotta give this guy a shot, man. We'll give the little guy a shot. Maybe the little guy is gonna be actually insane. You know what I mean? Maybe he's gonna be an absolute monster. Don't have... Oh, 
flasks or anything. Do you have a flask? Do you have a flask by chance? Can I bum? Can I bum? Flask? I will see if uh, Jay got one. Do 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 do. Oh, also we probably should have lost the opener, huh? I don't know if you got flask or not. Just ready to check. This is gonna be weird. I have no idea how I'm supposed to play this spec in AoE. This is gonna be interesting though. I guess I'm just gonna run in, do my Fear of the Eagle. I don't even know if Spearhead's worth using in AoE at all. I have no idea. But we just gonna lost the opener here. Let's see how this is gonna go. And hopefully it won't be just an absolute disaster. Oh, I'm dead. No, we're fine. Wait. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, though. This guy's popping off. Yeah, the pally's popping. Oh, that guy's dead. Okay, so pally's really, really good. That's good to know. <laughs> good to know. Oh, Belf, I do. I just gotta work it out, okay? We kind of sort of doing damage. Kind of sort of. <laughs> A big emphasis on the kind of sort of aspect. <laughs> Play more. There we go. Oh, my pet died. Uh, I don't know how he died. I'm gonna turtle and just res him real quick. Yeah, I wish I had an answer here. Wish I had a stop for you, my guy. I guess done that. Brutal slam, watch it. Spikes, I can't really stop them. Uh, I can do this. That's probably what my pet is dead, it's probably spikes. I forgot how hard everything here hits. Completely forgot about that. Try to see if I can just do this cleave thing. It's sort of kind of working. They're just not here spe spearhead ever on AoE. This is just a purely single target button. There's gotta be like a way I could utilize it properly, right? <laughs> Maybe. How's it going now? What's up, bike? Hey, do my man. Healer Hunter doing something? Uh, me? I mean, I'm... <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of pressing my buttons here and there, but not nearly as good as this warrior, as this paladin. 10% of me damage is Lego? Jesus. Okay. This would be interesting. I These guys apparently got changed quite a bit, by the way. Apparently they got changed quite a bit recently. Wild Cleave still hits really hard, yeah. That hurts. That's a button. Ricochet and Shield looks like it takes forever until it like finishes his cast. Heavy arrow, watch it. Heavy arrow hits pretty hard still. Longboat raid. Apparently this ability does a lot of damage. Longboat raid. Apparently, the, every time one of these cannons drops, it does more damage now. Although the nerf died by 50% recently. But it's a bit of a heal check now. 
I'm gonna get myself a bit of a heal. I am under a ton of pressure damage wise. I really don't like it. Uh, I also don't really know if I can wild cleave. Really worried about that wild cleave ability. Yeah, I don't like the fire. Oh, the fire hurts a lot. Can we take him out of the fire? Can we take him out of the fire? Yeah, fire hurts a lot now. Like a lot more than I remember. Shield? Okay, so we can re reposition it at least. Okay, fire does go away after a while. Yeah, so we could have to be very, very careful with the fire. Oh, wild cleave. Wild cleave is very wild. So this is gonna be okay. So you really do want to even them out, because now it's gonna be fire constantly, permanently here. That's not great. Oh god, I wish I had a bit of more range to my abilities, man. I'm gonna have to back up out. Oh, what am I, what is killing me? Oh, dagger throw hurts. That hurts. Uh, everything he heard, by the way. <laughs> and now there's all this fire. Oh, thank goodness! At least he put himself away. Dude, this fight is gonna be uh a little bit harder than before. Actually, feels good. Bear, yeah, yeah, dude, hell yeah, yeah. Bear is fantastic. That tier set they got going on is good. But right, yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's better the ass. It is, man. It is. Yeah, the butt raid. Oh yeah. It is awful. Nice, huge blind. I'm gonna try to see not. I'm gonna try not to press spearhead. See if that feels any decent. Let's use that as like when all the buttons are gone. Or maybe use it on the boss. Feels super hard with spearhead. I don't know if you want to cut him out or whatever. Oh, that hurt. Does he bite? Let's see if I can interrupt that guy a little. Body slam. Mortal slam again. It's like the power creep in season four. Yeah, they're definitely going to be quite a bit of a power creep. Like the paladin definitely figured something out, right? But that is something you do want to see in the new se in the in the final season of expansion, right? You do want to see our characters being like at the strongest they can be. Now that's been the case for Legion. That's been the case with BFA. Even at the end of Shadowlands, like we felt pretty strong by the end of it all. So you do want us to feel like at our strongest, right? You do want it to be fun. You want it to be enjoyable. So I'm perfectly okay with it being a bit of a power creep there. I am thinking, although I don't know if this build will work super super well. I just don't know how to use Spearhead. It's such oh man. I just decided to copy a talent over. Um, what is it? From the uh, season one um, logs to see if that will work. We'll see. We'll see how this is gonna go here. I'm gonna do this grenade. We're just gonna slam this guy for the most part, just mostly single target him. Except when he does this. And then we're just gonna switch over to whoever. Gotta kill this really, really quickly. Pop a defensive. Pop one of these. Spearhead for as long as possible. Thunder and slam, watch it. Stun it maybe? There we go.
I'm also just trying to focus that single target on this man here as best I can. I'm gonna take a bit of damage here. I had nothing else to press. So we're just gonna do the spear for a second. I'm thinking this pal is just popping off. Maybe he's got some cheesy going on here. I'll check him out at some point. He puts his setup as. Kick that. Which is huge. Spearhead is back. We're gonna use Spearhead on the totem. Bloodlust. Ouchies. Okay, he didn't summon more. Oh, he did summon more. Have a stun. A little late, but it's okay. Back up for a second. Did we get a kick? And charge in. Spearhead for a little bit. Also, I don't have resources showing up with this character. That's probably why I'm like... Messing up my whole Mungus Bite combos. Wish I had a defense. Actually, I do have a defensive. So we're vibing. We're chilling for now. I'm gonna summon more. Okay, now we got the waves. Alright, that took us a little bit of time. On the Tan 40 fight, and that guy still lives for quite a while. Yeah, I'm a little behind on the boss damage, but what can you do? Let me do this. Uh, resource. Really excited for Season 4? Same! I'm actually very, very excited for it. It looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully they'll still keep us, like, give us a couple more surprises before the end of Season 4, before season four is finally here. You know what I mean? But we'll see, we'll see. Oh yeah, you may want to run with a jagged bite. By the way, if you kite it out, they never reach you. Super nice. What is the duration of spearhead? Also, what the hell is causing him to get stunned like that? Is it just like AOE stunts? Roar? Is roar working? Looks like they get stunned for like a good bit too. Ah, that guy's just gonna cleave down. The age gotta get out of the way. Get out of dodge. Oh man, my AoE damage has been ass cheeks. Okay, I'll need to look into how to play Spearhead, man. It's been a second. Because <laughs> maybe you don't press Spear at all in AoE. Maybe that is the play. I think Season 4 is gonna be fun. Looking forward to trying to switch dungeons. Yeah, same, same, same. I'm hoping they still got a couple of surprises for us for Season 4 and it won't just be like, oh, same dungeons, no affixes for uh, raids. I'm hoping they still got like a surprise or two up their sleeves, you know? But we'll see. But I'm excited to try like class stuff and all the different builds and whatever. That's gonna be very, very fun. Okay, on the boss, hopefully I'll be able to just go pull and pump and bloodlust and everything. Okay, now we're good. Oh, I got a dot on me immediately. Oh, insta stun. Okay, interesting. No, he's just gonna stun back to back. Wild.
Pop a defensive. Wait, no, might not have one. Not as a setup. Is that on me? No, it's not on me. Wait, what happened? What do you mean? Oh my god. What's happening? Oh, this is gonna hurt me a lot. X heal, heal, heal. Okay, nice. I got sacked too. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, so we can do some single target damage. As this spec, we definitely can do some single target damage. Uh, not regularly, but we definitely can. Beerhead has no AoE traction. Okay, 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 okay. I'll just not use Beerhead then. Or AoE. Uh, try to see if we can CC him a little. Oh, okay, nice. Give him the zoomies. Uh oh, I don't want to be in front of him at all. Hoping to get my RL stuff done, figured out in time for max honor. Yeah, 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 definitely try to see if you can max out honor because it's going to be a huge advantage, man. Definitely going to be a huge advantage. It's going to be massive. See if we can stun him. Maybe a little early. Yeah, I got to figure out how this build AoEs because I feel kind of limited. <laughs> what I can do for AoE. I don't know if you wouldn't walk him, but you can. There we go. Yeah, my AoE damage sucks, man. Looks like Fear of the Eagle still does good damage, and then Explosive Butchery is fine. But everything else is kind of like taking a backseat really, really badly. <laughs> I don't know if I like this AoE version. We got the West Pole? We could. We could. I'm gonna switch over to a uh, tanky pet. Give me my friend Sag. Oh, okay. I'm gonna press Sag, uh, what is it, Bear Fort? See if that helps me any. I don't know if you want to kite him or whatever. You got that stun. Probably should be using the stun a lot earlier than. This next pack is going to be pretty painful, by the way. I might just focus on the big guy. I might just send everything in the opener and then just spear ahead down the big guy. Because that's going to be a, a really, really tough. I'm telling you right now, this guy's going to hurt. Unless they nerfed him. Which they might have. We'll find out soon, though, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they nerfed him. I think it still hits super, super hard. Oh, that cleave. Resurring Slam still hits quite a bit. Oh, that hurts. Right, heals at least. Yeah, I don't really know how you're supposed to play this in the AoE. Spearhead is just so weird. It's gonna take me a second to get adjusted. I also should have probably looked up like a rotation or something. I feel like maybe I can get it really quickly. Maybe there's a guide. Uh, survival. Rotation. Uh, explosive. In terms of engagement. Uh, flanking. Spearhead. Oh, okay, so you do want to use it, actually. 
So there is a playstyle with spearhead and AOE. Okay. There is apparently a, a thing you could do. All right. Apparently there are buttons. But you throw out grenades, dump all wildfire bombs before using spearhead. Do, 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 do. Use death shotgun, pump it. And then you just kind of spearhead one target as much as possible. Are we just going in? Okay. Oh, uh, tell me we gotta be a res. Well, this hurts a bit. Okay, at least we got us alive. Sort of. Oh, that does quite a bit of damage. Okay, everything just hurts. Is this how this dungeon is again? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Now it's a bit of a break. Looks like the boss, like the actual, like, while fighting the boss is a little bit more painful than I remember. And Ting down. Rip. Are we are we have, have to go again? Do we have another res maybe? Let me go again. Okay. Let <laughs> me go again. Wait, that's single target? Hold on. I need a way. Okay, that's the AoE. Okay. In AoE, yeah, it doesn't even have the button. Fear of the Eagle, explosive shot, terms of engagement. Yeah, it doesn't even have the ability at all. Okay. <laughs> Harpoon, that's Shockroom, throw grenade, explosive, fear of the Eagle, making sure Butchery doesn't fill for the charges. Um, and Butchery, most practice, streets perform similar, much easier to handle. Okay, so just Butchery spam it if you can. Don't worry too hard about it. Uh, I need a pet. Okay. Okay, something's happening. All I did is summon a pet, and now I just got like LUA errors. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick reload UI and hopefully this will be gone. Okay, <laughs> that's not great. That is not great. Watch it. It's harder you got no affix on. It's harder and you got no affix. We got fortified. The other affixes are just like... I mean, they do add a little bit of a... a what is it? A little bit of a... <laughs> I mean, they definitely make things a bit more difficult, but like, for the most part, they're just the conditionals, right? Like, Volcanic, is that really an affix? Doesn't really feel like it. Pretty easy to avoid. Other stuff, right? Uh, like, Ghosties that you dispel. As long as you have a class that dispels them, literally not an affix. You don't have to worry about it that much. That makes sense? Most people have been testing at least Fortified or Tyrannical just to see how hard bosses are gonna hit. Cause that's gonna be like the only real affix that really matters for like testing purposes. But if you want to see me doing more keys with affixes, or like every affix, I have a couple of B-roll clips on the channel so far. Okay, I really just want to stay in and do melee. A what? Okay. Uh. Maybe we could do it without a tank. Or maybe we gotta be res. Okay, that guy's just dying, I think. Or no? Maybe we could wait. What killed you there? We were fine, and then just... DC, maybe? Jake might have DC'd. Oh, 
I'm gonna start working on this guy down. Maybe kill command that. Yeah, kill shot it. I was gonna switch over to this one. Turn it around, clipped him twice. Really? Okay. Yeah, I just gotta be careful with that. Oh, this sucks. I mean, I could keep my pet over there for now. Let him kill, keep kill, kill commanding over there. And I can kill shot if I can get around. A little close. Okay, now we can get it. Yeah, grenade should do it. I don't know how we're gonna do this without a tank, but here it is. This man is gonna have, probably have to tank it or bubble it. Both, maybe. <laughs> Both, maybe. Cut him out, cut him out. I got a defensive. He bubbled it. He's got to uh, now kite. Now he's gonna have to cut it and bubble it. There we go. No tanks needed, boys. Easy. Easiest dungeon ever. This place does hurt, though. Everything here hurts. <laughs> um, hi, Turan. Yeah, this boss would be pretty rough on Turan. Yeah, everything there kind of hurts. Even on 45, everything hurts here. But imagine how it's gonna be on Turan, man. If everything here hurts on Fortified, imagine how it's going to be on Tyrannical. It's going to be something. Trying to see if I can stun. Can you still line aside him? Sure, we can, right? I want to walk over and line aside this guy when he does his stompy. If he ever does it. Did they remove? Oh yeah, thunderous clap. Can you loss? You can loss it. Okay. Yeah, you still gonna have to be lost in those. That's so annoying. Like, what can you do about it, right? Uh, just mechanic. Just how you have to do it. Yeah, I really don't know if Spearhead is gonna be the play, man. I don't think it's gonna be the play. Unless there's like another way to play this. Or maybe there's a rotation that works in AoE. Maybe I just like cleave things or something, right? With a big prio focus or whatever. Maybe that's how you do it, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be the play. All oh, those guys, all of them uh, do a, a thing. Oh, nice. Love that LOS. Oh, zoomer. Oh, we got to get that guy back up. If possible. Yeah, that's exactly where we want to be. I don't like that man walking around. Gotta loss it, man. Gotta loss it. Freezing? Yeah, I got one with freezing. Can't stop the other guy. I'm just gonna pop a defensive. That's all you can do. Hmm, you might have to play into like big resetty playstyle for this. To get more AoE, because that's how you're gonna be able to get your Fear of the Eagle back quicker. That might be the way you play this. Is throw the red grenade and then start spamming kill command to get the uh fear of the eagle quicker. Yeah, this feels weird without playing coordinated assault, which has like a lot of that natural AoE baked into it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid a little. Uh, really want to go in and do stuff, but I don't think I can. Here we go. Here's the button. Now we can kill command a bunch of them. Hopefully, get my stuff back a little quicker. I really don't know how you're supposed to play this. Also, I think that guy, the Demon Hunter, keeps getting hit by frontals. The place has a lot of frontals. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Sally, you're gonna have to tell me exactly how to play this at some point, man. Yeah, once you figure it out. 
Because I definitely am struggling. How do you spearhead in Mythic Plus? I should have. <laughs> I just decided yeah, I'm just gonna go and copy a build. I think it'll be fine. We'll be okay. It'll be just fine. What the hell? Double pull? Uh, okay. Well, we could definitely do line of sights if we're careful. Oh, we might be line of sighting forever. Yeah, oh god, yeah, we might be line of sighting for ages. Unless. Yeah. Might need to walk in and do some uh, defensive play. Press the defensive button. Or, oh. Ah, uh, no, I still got hit. So maybe I won't have to go nearly as far. If only the claps lined up all at the same time, that would have been op awesome. Just gonna press the defensive and just see if I can live it. Yeah, all of them still doing the thing. Uh, <laughs> it sucks. Can we at least put them a little closer to the corner so we don't have to go like run a mile? Just uh just a little closer would be nice. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's still is pretty far. Yeah, as a tank you need to know where to put him. Otherwise this is gonna be super painful for the DPS. In fact, if you could put him in this cubby. In the cubby no 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 not not like that, but if you put him in the cubby, then we can just kinda go this is fine too. But yeah, if you put him like in the cubby here, right? Make him turn, and then we can kinda just like, peek. We can just enough line aside so we're not like in there frontal or whatever. Cleave a whole mob uh low rest. You think so? Yeah, probably. Probably could have. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, we killed that pack. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so annoying. Oh man. Yeah, nothing he could do there. Is this cleave? That might be the cleavers. Oh, it sucks if they are. Slammer. Not timing it? Yeah, not. I don't think so. This dungeon, I think you would have to do a big pulls, and the damage overall would have to be a little higher. Like, the Paladin is definitely carrying it. Right? It's evident. Pretty evident. Pretty clear for all. But this man just hoisted the whole team on his shoulders. He's just bare knuckling just as best as he can, man. Trying to see if I can maybe break my haze debuff. Because it already is super, super low. This key... I'm not a big fan of what they did for the first boss. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the AoE damage and the, just the puddles and all that. Like, it's... I guess it'll be fine. It'll be fine at the end of the day. Like, once we get gear and I could see them nerfing it a little bit, too. But I, I understand they're trying, just trying to make it, like... Less of a, uh, just pull everything on top of the boss and cleave it down. They're trying to make it more engaging. I don't think that's necessarily how you do it. I feel like what you would want to do is add a new mechanic that maybe gives you, like, a kiss curse mechanic. Big fan of kiss curse mechanics whenever they add any. Just wish they did more of them. In general. But yeah. But I think that was a change towards the end of Season 2. What's well, a Kiss Curse mechanic? So you know how most affixes... So, Kiss Curse would be an affix type. Oh, this guy's here. I forgot. Uh, I was thinking, like, what is this? It's a new mob. <laughs> Kiss Curse is a... Usually, like, it's a mechanic where... Hey, I put a debuff on you, right? Oh, it's gonna do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage, right? Man. Actually, hold on. Can I think of, like, a... I'm trying to think of, like, a... An actual buff or debuff in game can skip. No, is it not skippable? He's totally skippable, man. He's totally skippable. 
Yeah, you could stealth past him. You don't need stealth, no, you can just jump on the side. You don't need to skip, or you don't need to fight it. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss Curse will be a mechanic where it's like... Oh, let's say like the boss sends you to like a Shadow Realm to fight like some elite. But then when you kill the elite, you come back and you get a damage buff or whatever, right? Yeah, you have to do the mechanic, but now you're rewarded with a big damage buff. So now you could do even more damage. So even if you had down someone like away from the group, it doesn't mean you're trolling the group all of a sudden. You know? That's what a kiss curse mechanic is usually is. It's something that gives you a curse, but if you deal with it appropriately, it gives you a kiss. Which is usually some kind of a buff. That's what a kiss curse is. Wait, can I just dispel myself with the uh, debuff? Just for disengaging? I think I may be able to. Oh yeah, time flow. I'm gonna pop a defensive. That doesn't hit nearly as hard though, I don't think. Oh please, drag up to the boss, drag the boss over these. Oh no. Man, yeah, we should drag him in the deep. Next time, try to drag him in like in the deep of it. If possible. Oh yeah, I could totally dispel myself. Oh, that's so nice. I'm just gonna disengage it every time then. He puts a slow one, yeah. That's a magic dispel. You can remove it with anything that removes a slow. So if you have the disengage talent with a... I forget what it's called. Not Trailblazer, it's something else. But there's a talent, post haste, where whenever you pop a, a disengage, you remove all slows and you get yourself a nice little movement speed buff. Yeah, so here I could just remove it instantly. Uh, I'm afraid. And then drag him in the deep. Drag him in the deep end when he goes in for the whole thing. There I go. Yeah, drag him all the way in, all the way in the deep end, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, look at that. We just got all this to soak up. But we do want to soak more, though. We do need more soaking. More soakage is needed. Okay, we're in a bad spot. We gotta run him out of here now. <laughs> we didn't stay in one spot. It's okay, though. It's fine. Oh, no. Uh, We're fine. I got good single target damage, if anything. So this build kind of owns for that, but it's definitely really bad for that pure uh, AOE. <laughs> Terrible for AOE. I keep trying to get him to like... I keep hoping he gives me the debuff. But, yeah. What can I do? Again, just won't give me the debuff. Give it to me. Give it to me, a boss. Give it to me. Give it to me, bud. Give it to me, guy. <laughs> give it to me. Because I can just deal with it. I just love mechanics like that. So a kiss curse mechanic for that me for that one would have been like, let's say, like, it pops a slow on you. But then after that slow, you get yourself a damage buff or something. There's no sh shot that's all overall, right? Yeah, and there's no way. I was going to say. <laughs> Man, I was so behind on damage. It is wild. I definitely did. Okay. Spearhead is definitely not the play. I tried. Maybe there's a way to make Spearhead work, but I tried, man. I tried. I like this, though. I don't hate the playstyle. Like, the actual rotation. I like it. Jeez. Demon Hunter is, uh... <laughs> slacking a little bit there. Poor guy. But maybe he didn't get, like, all the new gear or whatever. What is this man running for gear? He's gotta be... I can't even inspect him anymore. He must have ran something cheesy, I feel like. That or just Paladins are crack right now. Which, that could be that too, right? Just Giga Chad. He's just that good at the game. He comes on, he pops, he presses buttons, and he just hits harder. Why? He's just that good. He's just that good, you know? Man. I was always saving my CDs for Battle and Smoke, the guy who's against me. But what? I love the dungeon, he, uh, Theater of Pain. That one is okay. That was an okay dungeon. I thought the gimmick of fighting each other was more fun. But like, I don't know, it's it's a fun gimmick, but like at a timed environment, it is not great. The whole like fighting each other in PvP is enjoyable, but like nobody's ever gonna just have fun with it. It's like not worth it. Freedom works also. Yeah, freedom works, uh, disengage works, anything that removes a slow works. Because it's just, it's one of those debuffs that has like, it's a slow, it's a magic dot, but also has a slow effect. If you remove the slow, you remove the dot too. There's a lot of those mechanics in the game. And that's usually something for you to remember, right? Next expansion, if you see some kind of a debuff that also puts a slow on an enemy, right? You got a strong dot, but those slows, try hand or freedom. Yeah, yeah. See if that dispels it. Because it just may remove it. A lot of this ability is at a time with a slow and a dot. 
they're linked together, so you cannot have one without the other. Have a choice of words of Theater of Pain. Yeah, Theater of Pain, I'm okay if that one didn't come back. Like, there's... Shadowlands did some good dungeons, like Tazavesh. Fantastic. Um, I don't know. Wake was okay. Halls of Torment was... Oh, Halls of Torment? Halls of Torment? Hall. We'll just go to Hall. Hall was okay. I don't remember if it's actually Hall of Torment. May have been. But, the, like, a lot of them were mid and forgettable. You know? I guess there's a maze one, which is, oh, oh, the maze. Oh, atonement, that's what it is. I, torment, atonement. Depends, right? Depends, right? It really felt like a hall of torment I, with how many times we had to run it. Other side, perfect dungeon. Ah, it's okay. There's like one good pull. There's like one actually fun pull, and the rest of it is whatever. Unless you just love doing Mozala. Oh, man. Oh, I love my totems. Oh, I love Muzala. Oh, the totems. You know, there, it was a lot of it was mid. Like when we when we lost BFA, I was like, man, some of these dungeons were absolute banger. Freehold, Atal, uh, Sethralis was very underrated. Waycrest, Underrod, Mechagon, Upper and Lower, even Motherlo people liked, right? It was like Shrine. It was kind of whatever Siege. And Toll and King's Rest. Although King's Rest I thought was very really cool for Season 4. It was great for Season 4. But yeah. And then you got Shadowlands, which is like... Look, I didn't even mention Spires of Ascension or Plaguefall. That's how, they're for that's how forgettable those places. Tessa Vetch is like the best thing they ever came out of that expansion. Even Legion, Black Recall. I mean, we just recently got to play it. Court of Stars was a banger. I even like Holds of Valor. Mar, people ran a ton of that. Darkheart was good too. Uh, Cathedral was fantastic after the nerves, but it was fantastic. Arcway, super underrated. Vault is pretty good. Natharin's Lair was actually also really good. Return Carry didn't really pan out as well as I thought it would. That was a little harder for a lot of people. At least we didn't do Seat. That's like the one bad dungeon from this expansion. Like, I, you don't even count Assault, because like, you couldn't even run that on Plus. But Seat is like the, one that I, the only one I was like, who? <laughs> you know? And there's like a lot, even the Watt dungeons, dude. Iron Docks? Grimrail, I know it's like, oh man, a, a a boat one and a train one, they actually were super fun and super easy. I don't care what anyone says, Shadowman was also a banger, Everbloom is third boss kind of sucks, but the rest of it is okay. Third boss sucks, but the rest of it is, maybe Lashers I don't like, but like, like even uh, forgettable expansion like Watt had banger dungeons, you know? Mr. Pandaria, I still want him to. Stop being cowards and give us Scarlet Monastery, Scarlet Halls, and uh, Scarlet Mance. As M plus content, they need to do that in X expansion, right? Even Dragonflight got good dungeons too, man. But like, Shadowlands was the one expansion that gave us like the most mid of mid dungeons. And I don't use the, mid, the word mid often, but like, that, how else do you describe someone that's just like a slog and just slop to go through, right? It's just like, ugh. What is this? UBRS BMS need to return? I don't like old UBRS or like what have we talked about? Hello, Bon Samdi. I mean, actor, fantastic, character, cool, not worth running the dungeon for. I feel like Bon Samdi definitely needs to come back in story sense in some way. I'd love for him to make a return at some point, um, but not for, not in a dungeon. <laughs> not that not, not likable. That's like saying, man, I like Denathri so much, I can't wait to do <laughs> Faded version or Awakened version of Castle Nathria. Look, Castle's a cool raid, but like, Danny is a cool guy, but <laughs> if I had to go to SLG again just to meet Denathrius, and me. There, there, and there, dude. <laughs> I am a willing sacrifice at that point. Wad UBRS, it was insane dungeon. You know, whenever Wad time walking is around, I don't think you can even get Wad UBRS, man. Upper Black Rock Spire. You, I don't think I've ever gotten this place as a time walking uh, Wad dungeon. And the only way I ever even got to run it ever as if I'm like doing a leveling through WAD and I have to hard queue for this dungeon. Because if I just random queue, I never get it. You know which one I get always is Blood Mall Slag Mines. That's the worst. It's just the amount of times I get this dungeon all the time. It is the worst. I'm so dumb with this thing. I can do and I can do Shadow Moon. I can do Grimrail. I like Iron Docks. I like even the old uh, Skyreach is fine too. But I get so much. Like 80% of them is just slag. They're throwing me right into Slag Mines every single time. Just... Work in the mines. 
I love it. I just, I, I just, I've done it way too many times. In time walking or whether I'm doing like wad leveling, because I'm like, you know what? I'll level through wad. I'll just do a dungeon or two. Slag. I have to queue manually if I want to experience any other dungeons. But like, that's not where you get the bonus from. For random dungeon. Dark Simon last boss during CM was so much fun. So much fun in side mines. Dark Sim. Could you Dark Sim bosses? That's kind of wild. Imagine now when somebody mind controlled from Zalatath. Wait, what? Imagine now Bon somebody mind controlled from Zalatath and he becomes super evil and arrive every lower and become super overpowered and evil and now you have to stop him. You gotta call him evil and you gotta say and evil and evil at least three times in a sentence, otherwise it will never happen. Yeah, I mean two evils, that's not enough. Uh, three evils, now you're talking. Now we're making some sense here. Now that's a that's a quality, quality character development they can get behind three evils he's evil and uh throw like a shadowy bolt at the tank and it would do a bunch of damage but you could reflect it and i think there was a debuff with it so if you reflected it a couple of times back at the boss you could one shot him like you would just get one shot you would just cast the tank you perhaps would reflect you would cast it cows back to him kills him <laughs> kills him it was two evils that's the thing if it was three i'd be down but two i yeah not enough. Not enough evils. But yeah, with Radan, imagine if you dark sim his ability and you would just throw that back at him. How cool would that have been? Also, I never thought about him having like a full on tentacle arm. Never took a close look at the guy. Poor Radan, man, out of all the places, just Nihilotha. Got yoinked back into the into the void and just became partially tentacle. But that's a Titan construct made tentacle too. Huh. I didn't like Nazoth. Ilganoth. Also, Ilganoth was like this big cryptic guy, but like, and then you got to fight him. And it just like, I don't know. I felt it was a little underwhelming. Here's a big bad that was like super, super cryptic. And then it's just like, ah, uh, and gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? And gone. <laughs> and he's dead. Because it didn't even take long to fight him either. Which hero did Affliction get? I think they got... Huh, let me look it up, actually. It's a good question. Let me see. Because I have a Warlock set up with a full set of tier, so I can look. Go and Giga Chad and want to destroy the living and get more souls. Yeah, imagine. Now, if they give... Oh, uh, here's Zoomer, by the way. I want to see what his setup is. Is he doing anything wild or cheesy? No, just playing the game. Gamer gaming. Maybe he's like perfectly statted or whatever. I have no idea. Uh, let me look it up. I go here. We go Affliction. So Affliction is Soul Rot. It's a Soul Rot. It's a Season 3 tier set. Yeah, so they get the Soul Rot deals. 50% increased damage and last additional 4 seconds. Soul Rot grants 3 Umberline Kindling, which increases the damage of an ex Malefic Rapture. Deal 50%. You deal 50% more damage or Cedar Corruption deals 60%. Additional Umber 5 Kindling cause Mother of Corruption to extend duration of your damage over time effects and harm by 2 seconds. So, you got the Season 3 tier set. Dastro got the Season 1 tier set. Right? Uh, Demonology. Yeah, Consuming Soul Shard has a chance to grant you Chaos Maelstrom, increasing your crit chance by 15%. And the fourth set, your Critical Strike uh, strikes deal 1-12% damage instead of the usual 200 which for Chaos Bolts is a guarantee. <laughs> so you actually did quite a bit of damage as Destro. It's been a second since I really got to play it. I kind of want to hit some tram dummies with it. Do, do, do. Do, do. Demo, I'm pretty sure Demo got a rank 3 tier set. Or season 3 tier. Yeah, Doom Brand is a season 3 tier set. They emerged as a tier set with the Doom Fiend. I mean, that one was really good. Like, Doom Fiend is very strong. But it's fun to play with. Plus, I'm pretty sure that Season 2 tier set was really good before that, but they nerfed it, I think? I'm not 100% of that one, though. Can't say I'm 100% of that. Someone bring back all the Elemental Lords and fuse them together and make a good shot Elemental. I can get behind that idea.
Oh God. How often do I get my crit buff? I don't think you will stack crit anymore, do you? I imagine you don't. Since you're gonna be getting free crit from me too, anyway. It's somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, wildfire. That was a crit buff. That was like a chance to proc, right? 12%. But if you crit enough, then everything hits a little harder. Which is like a solid damage buff. It's gonna make the Chaos Ball playstyles a little bit better. This Chaos Ball is a guaranteed crit. What is it, 1.2 million Chaos Balls? I mean, if you wanna... I think I have a screenshot on Discord, right? Unless you're saying we should do another key and then you'll run Destro. If you wanna do that, we could. I could probably heal one. I'll be able to find a group pretty easily. I could play like Disc or something. Something I'm pretty comfy with. Well, Draken, you wanna queue up? Yeah, I gotta go swap over to a priest. And we'll queue up. I'll probably just copy a priest to have uh, on live. Great pet. Great pet flee. Flee. Does he just see me out of range? Where is he? There we go. Mm -mm 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 Let me copy a priest over. I really would like to play a Valkyr. Because <laughs> they have like the old tier set. Do I have a functional evoker here? I technically do. Sorta. Hold on. I wouldn't see how real of a character this is. You know what I mean? Because if it's a real character, maybe I'll just evoke a heal something. Oh yeah, we tried to heal it. Yeah, this was a real character. <laughs> we did try to heal something with it. I don't... Mm, I need to find the season 1 tiers, I think. Empower spells increase your version. I need to put up versions a lot more then. Aljo Priest. I think it'll be easier. Uh, in the NHL game, ever play on both sides through gloves as soon as the game started? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Just got a man mode. I love it. Love it. Let me try to see if I can switch over to this. Maybe I still maybe I still have all my, my macros and everything set up. Hopefully I have them. <laughs> if I have them, that'll be golden. Because I just did my healy damage macros and I'll be fine for the most part. Looks like they're in. Uh, yeah, I can play it. I'll maybe get my new tier piece and I'll get some trinkets or whatever and we'll just roll. Or roll it. <laughs> Both of our lights got ejected, really? You know, sometimes you just gotta square up, man. Sometimes you just gotta square up. Oh, you got the good tier set. At least trip the looks. Oh, it is so good looking. God. Literally one of the best priest tiers I've ever made. Oh, it's so beautiful. Do you have the chest? I do. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh it's so good. Oh my god, the void. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Look at that. What's my bonus? So my penance increases damage. Okay, so it's my season three tier set. Okay, that's fine. I don't got to change anything then. Uh, I'm gonna toss you an invite then, yeah. Oh, it's already in, you're already in a group. Never mind. Oh, never mind. You just took my invite. <laughs> um, I would do another. We don't have the Algathar. We're just gonna go with Algathar, dude. I'm just gonna go with Algathar. Whatever. We got Algathars. I feel like I do too many Algathars, but we'll do an Algathar. It's whatever. <laughs> as long as I have water, man. I'll be, I'll be chilling. 
Dragon Spittle. There's another Algothar. <laughs> what a name, man. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Alright, what's wrong with this guy? Hopefully it'll go well. What trinkets do I want? Um... Do 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 What trick it's a good chat? What is it worth? I know our shocks used to be really good. I could do beak and just a blast. I could do Oh, let's do blood keeper. Root keeper. And let's do Maybe I should do beacon. Just have fun blasting. You know what? I'm gonna do the chat. I'm gonna do it. Beacon and Broodkeeper. Broodkeeper would just gonna set it up on like a tank. And so we'll have like a basic heal on them. The entire time. And then we're just gonna walk in and just blast them with a uh, big old uh, beacon. That'll be fine. Let me say the fire, fire, fight in hockey. Yo, dude, dude, tell him to do fire, fire when he wants, man. Tell him to do the real, real rules, man. Fire, fire when he wants. Let's go. Roll. Slash roll to find out what order you're in. Agathar. Do I have a healing... Uh, layout? Healer. I do. Cool. I'll switch up the mix a bit. We'll do an Omaz boys and then I got a raid later tonight. That'll be fun. I think this is the version that I want to run. Can we get more master in here? I mean, for the uh, dudes, yeah, I would just go like credit or whatever you want to do. I would just do one of those. Eight players get ejected from the game 30 seconds in. Yo, yo, dude, hell yeah. You know what? If anything, it's like at least if, the, if the, at least the homies go down with the ship together. You know what I mean? At least they're all prepped for it. I'll see how this like uh, I'll see how this thing works, man. The brute keepers promise. Maybe it'll be good. It's healing the guy for like 12k each, like a pop, which is interesting. I think I want versatility because otherwise I have plenty of haste. Yeah, I'm gonna go versa just because I need some variability. 5% is like, what, 2% less damage taken? Yeah, 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 give me that Versa. Give me that Versa. Alright, how big do you think it's gonna go, man? I'm gonna be afraid here. I'm a little afraid already. How's this gonna go? Fear? I missed him. Uh, uh, it's tried, dude. It's tried. It tried. <laughs> you tried, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna dot him. Oh man. Oh Jesus, that guy's insta dead. Oh yeah, you, you can't be dying like that. Uh pfft, okay. That guy insta logged off. Insta logged. Oh he's dead. I got PS in here. That's about <laughs> Okay. <sighs> ah, that's so good. Are we done? Are we going? Are we done? That guy insta logged off, man. Insta alt F4. <laughs> oh, man. Demon Hunter missed the Sigil of Fear twice. I think he was trying to get a decent setup. How do people die? Is it just like autos? Just got melee. Two melees. Can't get melee, man. Uh, melee, melee. Yeah, you can't get hit by lashes. You gotta give this guy a second. Also melee. Like, I'm... I am, like, literally GCD locked. I'm just pressing shields on him. And nothing. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, it, I, 
I couldn't get to him. I literally couldn't get to him. Am I dead? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that guy's left. <laughs> okay, we'll try another key. That went really well. That went super, super well. <laughs> what is this team another doing? He just like ran in. He's like, all right, I'm going to group everything. And I'm like, I'm running after him. But then there's these flies coming in. I'm like, I'm going to go around. And it's still grouping. I'm like, I'm going to go around. It's still grouping. Okay, we'll try another one, man. We'll try another. There's another <laughs> gem on. Well, do we go again, dude? Oh, man. All right, we'll go again. Back in there. Back at it again. Yeah, next time, uh, Jake, just let the tank just like group him up. Let him get some aggro, right? Just don't touch him. Don't gotta do nothing. Amazing key. Yeah, that went really well. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, the guy was just grouping up. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get a couple of hots or a couple of dots in there. No one should hopefully just die instantly. Feral instantly died, instantly all to Ford. And then I think you died, Jake. Yeah, and then the DK died. I'm like, I'm spamming shields into you guys. I plus Rhapsody, and I'm just spamming shield, shield, shield. In between of my globals, I'm a shield. What, waiting, waiting, waiting to cast another shield. During that second wait time, you just instantly died. <laughs> yeah, I guess these boys bambulances. What the hell is that? Declined? Uh-oh. Uh, I guess this is also this Algathar here, too. Maybe... Man. If only they had, like, a healer bounce and then we'll be able to join in. We'll try, man. We'll try. I'll give us like maybe five, ten minutes. That was wild. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe I could have pressed pain suppression on both of you, but I hit the tank with pain sup, and it was still just dying. Like I had him just shielded. I had a couple of hots rolling, but I don't know what happened there. Yeah, like I mean, shields are already rolling. This guy just didn't. I mean, he pressed buttons to heal, but. I don't know. Did he press a defensive avoidance buttons? He pressed spikes. Looks at twice. Yeah, twenty-two percent uptime. I mean, that guy had zero uptime. He pressed spike and then calcified spike. I don't know. Meta? Was he died through meta too? That's weird. I don't think he should die through meta, right? Way too big of a pull? No, perfectly normal pull. I mean, that's what you normally would do, right? You would pull, you would uh, CC the uh, bugs, right? You would CC them with the fear, and you'll pull one, two, and three, and you could group them up. You just have to press defensive cooldowns and need to let the tank get aggro or CC, right? You cannot let do damage too early because he's got to pull everything first and then he's going to chunk it all together and then he's going to go through his AOE rotation. So you got to... I mean, we did the Algathar, I think, with a bear, right? When I was playing Outlaw? Or what was I playing? Was I Outlaw? We had like a... No, I was a Windwalker, right? We did that the uh, other time and we did a pretty big pull there too. At least I'm pretty sure we pulled like everything. And we... Da had Daz, but like we never fully group wiped because he, he was like, hey, give me a second. And you just had to give a second. Like I'm playing Windwalker. If <laughs> Windwalker would easily pick up snap aggro with how much burst damage you do. So if I didn't die, I don't know. I don't know. Should have opened flame on one pack, decree on the other. I think you just don't press any damage buttons and let him group. Because that's what we did when I played Windwalker. I just literally didn't press buttons. I just literally just gave him like, uh, give him like good eight seconds to group everything and start like churning out thrashes. Cause I'm like, if I hit early, I'm just gonna die. Cause you just can't. You just can't. Unless you like have a tank that is good at pop cooldowns in the beginning. Uh, how many tanks can, I mean, maybe Demon Hunter can like walk in, sigil, leap, sigil, grab aggro early while grouping everything. But I mean, it, just give him a second, you know what I mean? Couple of fights, just one or two more people ejected. Never seen anything like this. How many people are on a team? Is, is it going to be the entire team ejected soon? That's crazy. But at this point, like, they might as well set the records, right? I know it's probably going to kill their careers, but at this point, you would probably want to just set a record just for the sake of it. Imagine the entire team got into fist fights and this entire team got ejected. They're not going to have enough people to play the game when the first period ends. That is hilarious. 
That is, is it just a default they lose or like do they just send out who they can and then play man down? Like how does it work in hockey? I don't watch hockey ever. <laughs> so I have no idea. <laughs> There's a Braconite Hollow, Halls of Infusion. I don't know if I want to do a 12 Halls. Like it's doable, but I don't know. 10's already... I don't know. I feel like probably should do a 10 before I do a 12 or anything higher. Just like, hey, can I even handle a 10 before I go bricking someone's 12 or 14 or whatever? Actually, am, am, would I even be bricking? What is the level? What is the top end? Oh, you can go straight up to 20s. Okay, never mind. So I guess it's like we could just go break someone's key. I'd feel bad though. I'll give us like another minute. Maybe I'll just call it because I do have raid and want to get some work done as well. Come dummies, I'll do the burst. Uh, like you want a PI? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what this is. Every time I mount up and I try to fly, the game is like, oh, error, error code. Nah, you can't fly. I gotta reload until like, that lets me even jump. It, it won't let me disengage earlier. Tan expired? I gotta not take us? Yeah, maybe he's AFK. Unfortunate. Amigo, Dios mio. There's like 20 people on the team. Uh, there's like 20 people on the team and you're saying like 8 of them got yeeted? Oh, wow. Yeah, what happens when they don't have enough players? Do they just like forfeit? Or is it like... Oh, wait. Oh. Should we give this Notharis? I mean, I'll sign up for this key, but I'll also sign up for this Notharis. I'll try to get both. We'll try to see if we can get one more. Do, 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 do. Do money PI? Here we go. Hopefully, I got you. No, wait, no, I won't let me because you're horrid. Yeah, never mind. I did hover over you with the mouse over. A rainbow fire shower. Yeah, I do need to go and get the green fire quest line done. I never got to do it. I did get the book once back in Muspadaria, but I was so bad at the game. I tried to do the challenge and I got the macro, but I was just like, I gave it like th two attempts and I was like, oh, this is hard. I can't do it. I was just so like in my mind, I was like, oh, this is a PVE content of the game. I will never be able to do that because I PV only PVP. There's no way I can do it. I just gave up. I literally just gave up. There's a couple more actually. Ruby life pulls would be awesome. And I hope that Ruby takes us. Ruby, let's go. Give me the Ruby. What else do we need? We need a luster. Really big need of a luster. Um, never give up. Yeah, I need to go back and do it. I literally gave up. I remember like being kind of like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> like, think of the back about like thinking back about that moment when I got the fire and I was so excited to get it, and I was like, oh no, I can't do it. Like how? It's just so wild because. I mean, thinking about... Oh, we don't have a, a lust at all. Okay, that's going to be interesting. I guess like we don't really need it if we d just pretend like we're real gamers and just pump. But, yeah. It's just so weird, you know? Wait! 
Wait, you see the buttons glowing? Is the boss empowered? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is this boss empowered? Look, he's glowing! Hold on, are bosses also empowered during the season? Like, do they get better gear? That'd be kind of cool. What's up, Shane? <laughs> Let's be made like season two. Yeah, XP, I think you'll like it. Yeah, Shadow Priest with that tier, season two tier set are going to be so good, man. They were so good in season two. I think they're going to be fantastic in season three, at least just for damage alone. For anyone who wants to watch Edge of Brawl, yeah. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, just it's it's weird. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong dungeon. Wrong dungeon. I'm going too far away. Um, what was it? Like a, if, when the Legion Mage Shower came back for the Legion Time Walking Chat, I went in. I did the challenge on every single. At first, I did the challenge on all seven challenges to get the mount, and then I proceeded to do the challenge on every single spec in the game. Like I was so into the challenge, I loved it so much. I went, in, I went and did it on all of them, every spec. I don't know why I flew here, by the way. I felt like it was too much. I don't think I need to fly here, but I think it'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, like it's just weird to me to think that that was me, man. At some point, I was like, I can't do it. I literally can't do this thing. There's no shot I can ever do it. And here we are. Pumping PvE content. My group is a de Revenge Demon Hunter. I didn't have a priest cuts out my havoc. We don't have a priest cuts out my havoc. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, with Revenge DH, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. I think Vengeance is gonna be pretty good too. In the uh season. Hopefully this will go better than the last dungeon. As then I hope the tank presses damage buttons or defensive buttons. I think I'm pulling. Oh god, please. Please. Dude, okay, you gotta press a button, man. Why is he hurting so much? Seriously, no, why is the tank gonna hit so hard? Don't they have like a defensive? Dude, I'm hitting as my buttons as hard as I can. Maybe I should give him a defensive there. Oh god, I might need to give him PS or something. Okay, maybe I do need to just give him a Giga Shield or PS in the opener. I really don't know. Oh god, that hurt a lot. Why did it hit so hard? Just the ground. <laughs> this guy hits really hard on Fortified. Holy. Okay. Are we skipping this? No, okay. Okay. I'm just gonna give you one of these. Here we go. We're gonna hit you one of these. Hit you guys with the AoE. Big AoE afterwards. I mean, the amount of healing I'm doing to the tank is still super, super high, but boy, oh buddy, oh brother, I'm giving shields whenever I can, man. And he just, this man is just dead. Okay, well we got even more. Oh no, oh God. Okay, uh, I what do I just gotta do? Hard heal ya? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. Fear. Fear, fear everything. Crush. I got nothing for you. Okay, I can Rhapsody you. That's about it. Okay, here we go. Rhapsody you some more. And just some more AoE. Uh, Rhapsody you again. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I'm just getting chunked out for a ton. I'm actually having to like hard heal him a little, which is wild. Uh, can I fear them? Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I got fear, son. I got fear. I can keep you alive. I can keep you alive for some reason. I can't keep the other guy alive. I don't know why. <laughs> what is happening? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Doesn't look like a shadow priest. This, yeah, not a shadow priest. My mana, man. My mana. Hold on a second. Oh. You're just going in. You're just going in. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the shadow priest did that. Okay, we gotta give him one of these, right? Give him one of these. Move that out of the way. Shadowprace decided to pull extra, I guess, or something. Yeah, maybe going for like a d damage trinket is not the play here. <laughs> maybe that was my mistake. My mistake. <laughs> uh oh. Nice. Oh yeah, I need to make sure to use my, um, what's it called? Shadow Word Death 2, whenever I got my uh, pet out. I guess it would help a little bit. Is it me or is this guy just getting- Chat, is this normal for Demon Hunter to take this much damage? I feel like he's just- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, you just stood in front of that. Okay, that one, dying to that, I feel like it's perfectly normal as a Shadow Priest. Or as any class, really. <laughs> Is it still Barrage? It might be still Barrage that's really hurting. No, actually, that's the other thing. Yeah, he's just getting, like, passively, like, melted. Oh, he's fine, and then he's not fine. Like, seriously, what is happening? What is happening to this guy? Can't heal him any harder. I'm like the full healing build too. Oh, why is that guy dying? Snoxy, Snow, Snowy, Snoxy. I don't even know. What is killing you? Okay, well I'll master him, I guess. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. So he's pressing buttons, right? He's healing. He's, he's healing himself quite a lot, in fact. Live by the glaive, but the. You just take it so much damage. Is zero versatility? I don't think you need a lot of versatility. Don't you need crit? Okay, this is weird. I don't like this anymore. Uh oh, you could place these. Okay, I don't remember that being a mechanic before. But yeah, apparently you can place these now. Cool. Uh that's a lot of damage taken. Oh yeah, we gotta place these in better spots though. We really, really do. He just wouldn't let that guy come back, huh? Okay, we gotta do one of these. One of these. Okay, I need to give you a shield. Really wish I didn't have to, but here we are. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna need you to dispel him a ton here, I think. Pretty sure that's how the mechanic works. Oh god. Uh, why am I dying? Somebody got a kick. Hail bombs? Okay, so we're at least close with those. Dispel him. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, we're so dead, dude. Yeah, we're so dead. Uh, he's so dead. Those things gotta die. We're like way too much in the corner here. 
Okay. Oh, this hurts. Oh, this hurts. I'm also running out of mana. <laughs> this is taking forever. Oh, I try to keep it alive, man. We need to get a kick. Oh, that was rough. Hopefully she just targets me. So maybe we can live. No, it's on the warrior again. Keep rushing over to me. Oh, he's so dead. I can dispel you, that's about all. Oh, his warrior's dead. Uh, unless we're okay. So got all these whelplings. At least it's like the last bit of whelplings we gotta deal with. I am hoping she just targets me. Why is he dying? Okay, this is gonna hurt. Okay, I need to, just to heal myself here. He's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what the tank would just not. Why he would just walk in without a shot without a shadow priest? Is the shadow priest even alive? Is he even there? Is he only at ten to twenty? Does he actually have zero versatility? Mastery. Oh yeah, he actually doesn't have any versatility. What is this? He has a little bit. Oh yeah, he's just taking hits after hits. This guy actually you're right, he does have zero versatility. Doesn't really even have Tinker Trinkets either. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the tank is the one leaving. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> I don't know where I heard this. <laughs> but picture this chat. I'm gonna say a handful of words. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Tank joins. Tank joins. Zero versatility. Eats so much damage. It's absolutely on me. Uh, just in incredible. Freeze dies. Still pulls. Shits himself. Leaves. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. What was the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus the entire time I'm healing like a ton I'm mostly just healing him he's just taking hits after hits I mean Brute Keeper's Promise definitely got a lot of value I mean it's definitely healing him every second pretty sure Umbrella was a tank or big RLP as well was he? I'm not even sure Umbrella I have no clue Umbrella was a tank and then bricked RLP as well that is um, uh, Umbrella, yeah, that, that guy was Umbrella. I'm not sure about the other key. AA, was it AA? No, way. no shot, hold on. Was it? It was! No shot! Small world, I didn't even realize. You're right. Okay, well that explains why he was taking as much damage as he was like in the AA too. I mean, again, I'm spamming shields into him and he dies in between the globals. And look, look, this is, I have, what, 39, 30% haste in a dungeon? This is how fast I can shield him. There's a little bit of downtime, but like he's dead in between of them and that's about all I can do for him. Right? He needs to pop a cooldown to stabilize. That's. And he died in between of those shields. Same one? That is crazy. Yeah, it was literally the same guy, like you called it. <laughs> you probably said like, probably was the same guy. And you probably said it like, you know what, that guy kinda sucked, this guy kinda sucked. Yeah, probably same guy, the diamond doesn't. <laughs> Even you wasn't like, wait, I was joking. <laughs> I was just making a joke, what the hell? Oh, now I'm afraid of even joining any key, cause if he's in this key, I'm just gonna, I'm not, that's not gonna happen. That's not happening, that's not happening. Hold on. How much versatility do tanks normally have? Because this guy has like one bracer with versatility and that's it. So he has like maybe 2% versatility, 3. And we can actually see how much versatility tanks are running right now. 
in the current season, like the best D100 out there in logs. We can go look. You guys can see it, but it's on my screen right now. Vengeance. Um, Kira DH. Yoda DH. Elder Kira DH. Whatever, man. Kira. Alrighty. Let me pull up Kira. Kira DH. Black or cold. 32. Okay. Voila. So this is Kira DH profile for Black or Cold. 32, right? I'll put it over here so my face is covered up. Right. Right. Um You can see here his talents and his stats. He doesn't have a lot of versatility. But he has some. He has a lot of crit, lots of haste. And definitely not a lot of Versa, but some. And this guy has like one bracer worth of Versa. So like 700 versatility, maybe. For the Horde, for the Horde, my man. Yeah, so like tanks are not running super heavy Versa. Like if you play with enough crit or haste, if you're good at your class, you could definitely do some high-end keys. Even this guy's not going for, you know, versatility. Crit Versa in his gems, maybe, right? Because he got enough haste. But like his other items, I can't even, I don't even know what stats they are, but I'm going to guess versatility. Haste, versatility, belt. Uh, ring with crit mastery, I guess mostly for that crit. But at least he's got like tanky trinkets, right? So at least like, hey, you got more stats with crit haste, but at least run tanky trinkets. Even this guy's running tanky trinkets. Because you're doing like, you're trying to tank. I mean, I guess you could do like lower level keys and you could just run like DPS trinkets. But like, if you know you gotta live. But man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Wild. Well, I guess he was maybe just trying to test like, hey, can I live with like 700 versatility? Nope. He's got his answer. Two dungeons now. <laughs> I don't even know why he pulled while the priest was dead. I was resing the priest and he just went in and pulled. Like, at least let me res it. And he just face pulled immediately. <laughs> Sucks you won't ever have a huge all out horde alliance war because I was all about Fast and Furious family kick WM. Uh, like, you mean like story wise? I mean, unless you mean like PvP because you can still, yeah, still be G's. You still have war PvP. All right, that didn't go away. But uh, story-wise, I think there's always a potential for Horde and Alliance to have a little bit more of like, a um, bit more of, um, I don't know, competition with one another, story-wise. I mean, the, there's still two distinct distinct factions, right? So there's going to be difference between the two anyway. But we'll see. We'll see, unless they are trying to like unify factions and just make one big faction. No more barriers or whatever. Because they're taking steps towards it for gameplay purposes, but they said story-wise, like, they're not really going there yet. That's not their intention or whatever. But man, <laughs> I want to do another key because that was so unsatisfying. You know what I mean? It's like when you get, like, a really bad key, you're like, okay, go again, go again. That was a fluke, go again. But I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should take a break. Oh, man. Why did we get that guy twice? Twice. You know what? At least the ultimate we did was awesome. I enjoyed that a lot. Like, Survival Hunter can do good single target. I don't know about AoE, but good single targets for sure. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm actually really excited about Season 4, about, like, what builds people are gonna end up playing, man. Like, Shadow Priest uh, is gonna be different. Bear Druid is gonna go back to an old build. Survival Hunter is gonna go back to an older build. Some classes won't, like, all three specs of Rogue is saying basically the same. But, like, they're probably better because, like, we finally got a good tier set in Season 3. We're not going back to Season 1 and Season 2. Like, none of those gave us more gameplay. But, like, Wind Walker was awesome. I enjoyed the hell out of that. Evoker is going to be really good, too. I think Desert Warlock is going to be pretty nice, too. Going to be a little bit of that customizability on your talents. Undertown Mastery Desert is a lot of fun, though. I imagine that what you might want to play into because now you can, like, uh, pick the talent instead of portals. You can do that Master Control for Rain of Fire, Chaos Bolt. Uh, shadow burn. So you probably do want to stack a lot of mastery, I imagine. But we'll see. We'll see what people end up playing at the end of the day. Um, 
But I'm excited, man. I want to see if they do any more, like... I mean, we got, what, three weeks of wait time, so I doubt they're going to do too much more PTR testing or anything new on PTR. But I'm hoping after the three weeks of wait, they'll just give us, like, some surprise. Because they didn't test Awaken raids at all. No affixes, no none of that, so we have no idea, really. 30% haze is actually haze cap. Uh, you don't move above it. Is that the actual, like, in-game, like, verified number? 38%? Where do you look at this stuff up? I mean, I guess you would look up, like, class discords or whatever, but, like, is there a place where you could just look this stuff up? Or is that not, a, like, a thing? Maybe, like, Icy Vince Guide or something has it, maybe. But anyway, boys, thank you so much for coming by. Appreciate you. I got to wait in a bit. Uh, and yeah. Heavy, heavy DR for 38. I think you have the exact numbers. Oh, okay. I'll need to look into it though, because I know there's like actual cap cap. Maybe 38 is like not, if 38 is not cap but DRs, that's, there is a hard cap though. Like through other buffs like Bloodlust and stuff, there is like a hard cap that you do end up hitting. Where it's like, it actually does nothing for you. Even though nothing in the game suggests it, there's just like, it stops functioning for your dots. You know, like tick rate of your dots or like speed of casting or whatever. But yeah, thank you so much guys. Appreciate you. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow I'm just not streaming. No, I am streaming. I think tomorrow is SOD. Okay, tomorrow is a 50 50. I'm not 100% actually. I initially planned on streaming SOD. I think I do want to. So I think tomorrow we'll do an SOD. Hopefully get a quick normal run and then spam Zulfarag to get a couple of levels maybe. Maybe a bit of gear. We'll see how it goes. I already got my second dual wield, uh, no dual wield, uh, dual spec, dual talent build, so I can now play restoration properly with like an actual resto build and boomkin build, so we could probably do either war. But yeah, you might see me tomorrow, you might see me, you definitely will see me Friday for duels, but you'll definitely see me, might see me tomorrow for SOD though, boys. Letting you know right now. Maybe I like, depends, like if I wake up tomorrow and I'm just not feeling it at all, I'm just feeling ill or whatever, I'll probably prior my health. But I do plan on potentially doing an SOD. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you all. I'll see you guys all tomorrow or Friday. Definitely Friday at the very least. I meant to play Blunderstorm today. I never got around to it. Damn it. All righty. Peace, boys. Mm, mm, mm.